There we go. Audio is lowered. Hopefully it's not too low. This game has... This game weird. It doesn't run in the background. This game does not run in the background. So whenever I have to tweak anything, it looks like I'm freezing the game. Technically... Uh, technically, I guess you are just like emulating the game, so it, it would work like that. But, um, all right, Corpse Party. Hi, hello, we're here. We're playing Corpse Party. You may wonder to yourself, well, this isn't a game I think about when I think about Christmas and one and Wonderland and, and wintertime and presents. This game is about death and anime waifus. Well, to that I say, you're completely right. I was going to stream some other games tonight, but then I was like, man, the speed the speedrunners just have it tonight. I'm not even gonna try and stream those games. Speedrunners just got it. They got it, man. It's too many. I can't fight them. I will lose that battle because I am not a speedrunner. But I did say, hey, I remember playing Corpse Party last time we did this on stream. I had a fun time. Man, I really want to play more Corpse Party. I really just want to know what the hell this story's about. It's like goofy and yet horrifying at the same time. So here we are tonight. We're playing more Corpse Party. We're doing that. Did I plan this ahead of time? Somewhat, I guess. I mean, I did say we'll come back to Corpse Party, but I didn't think I'll do it this week, to be honest. I thought I was going to focus on more happier games. But I'm not. I'm here, playing Corpse Party. This is what we're doing. <laughs> hey, how's it? How's it hanging? Alright, so. I think the last thing I did on Corpse Party was... We ran into some author of, like, some horror book novel or some shit. Or ghost... Ghost investigations or something. And she's trapped in the school with us. But she knows more about shit. I think it was chapter two. I never play Course Party either. This is this is me continuing what we did on Halloween. Uh, I think it was chapter two, right? Okay, it's this one. I also just want to kind of finish this game. Oh, I also changed the resolution. Last time I streamed this. Oh my god, this game is like really loud. Holy shit. Let me lower that. I don't want to lower it too much, but I'm going to put it to there. Is that good? Is that audio good? All right. I wanted to, uh, at some point, I do want to do the whole Corpse Party game. Like, all the games. And this is the original. So, I mean, you got to start, you got to start from the beginning, right? So last time, one of our friends are in here. Let me move my mouse. Let me do that first of all, so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. So our friend is in here, being held hostage by the ghosties. Um, some screenwriter we talked to, she was here, and she said, do something. I don't remember. It's been a while. Time is warped. Fucking, uh, our teacher died, but we don't know it. There's a dude with, with, with like, no eyes chasing after me or some shit. Yeah, this guy. Or is this a different dude? Apparently, uh, I think I remember running around here and one of the ghosts gave me advice. They said, hey, don't, don't read everything you see. You'll go insane. And I was like, I'm not sure if that's real or not. I'm not sure if there's a multiple ending to this. So, I really don't even know what the hell I'm doing right now. I don't remember. <laughs> I cannot get past that guy. There's no way I'm getting past that guy, so I'm just going to ignore him. We're just going to head the other way. That guy, he has my number. He has my number, and I don't want him to call it. Um, So something really funny happened today. In which... uh. The door seems to be almost like a model. Okay, so we can't open this. Uh, and not not too funny, 
but I was like, man, I would really like to play Pokemon sometime on like stream or something. But that'll probably never happen because, you know, you got randomizers and nuzlocks and stuff like that. People are going to obviously be more interested in that than just regular Pokemon playthrough. But, um, there's a dead body in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, our friend hung herself, quote unquote, hung herself. She definitely wasn't attacked. But I was like, man, I remember I did a Nuzlocke like a long time ago. Let me load up that video and listen to it. An interesting smell. What do you mean? The smell of shit? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It stinks. This guy. Okay, I thought there was going to be a ghost in there. Um. So I was like, let me see what the hell this Nuzlocke was that I did years ago. And oh my god. How I hate that video series so much. <laughs> Little ghetto me just playing Pokemon and talking hella shit. Audio's all bad. The overlay I used on it was kind of shitty too, I'm not gonna lie. But man, my mouth was reckless. I said some stupid shit. Like, apparently I had a Weedle that I named Derek and I didn't give a fuck about Derek. And then somehow I like Derek. I don't know what happened, but there's a quote from me, which is, man, I don't give a fuck about Derek. He can go die in a trench somewhere. I was like, wow, really? <laughs> man, Derek. And I was like, man, I said some funny shit, but at the same time, that's a terrible video series. <laughs> but I love it, though. I love how bad it is. All right, where the fuck am I going? They told me, she told me I gotta do some bullshit. I can't go that way. Ghost man's got my number. Over here, we're just gonna sit there and cry that our friend's being held hostage. This door's locked. Um, I went up here. Did I, did I go over here? I can't go over here. We had a fucking earthquake or whatever the hell. So this is the only place to go. There's bones here. Judging by the size, these appear to be the remains of a junior or high school student. Closer inspection reveals a school ID name tag. Biakudan, Biakudan Senior High School, uh, Ryosuke Kadayami. Okay. That's a lot of words I just said. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, these are the bathrooms. Okay. Is there anything I can do in the bathroom? What the fuck? It's gotta be something. Check this shit again. You know what? I can kite the guy. I forgot I can do that. Because there was one room... Like, it's coming back to me. It's slowly coming back to me. There was one room... And the last time I did this... Where there was, like, this real narrow passage... And you had to fucking... Squeeze on through the guy before he, kill, before he kills you. Which was difficult as shit. So I just gotta kite this guy over here. I put a lot of effort in that K. Made my tongue roll a little bit. I didn't like it. I didn't like the way I pronounced the word kite. Come here, you spooky motherfucker. Up here. Uh huh. A little, a little bit further. Bye, bitch. All right. Can't go that way. These guys are dead. Isn't there a second guy up here or something? Game's getting all dark and spooky. Oh shit, what's this? I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be looking at this type of shit. There's an old fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. It seems to be missing a head. Pick it up. I guess. How are you liking the game so far? Um, I like it. I like it from a narrative aspect. Of course, there's some honky fucking, like, anime shit going on. But so far, I do like, I, I want to know what the hell's going on with the place itself more than the characters. Thoughts begin to echo into your mind, seeming from the doll, somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its sole desire. 
What the? I can hear a voice. Give me back my head. Oh, shit. Stop talking to me like that, Yami. Acquired antique doll, the body. What about this? Based on the long strands of hair scattered all around, there likely be the remains of a female student. She's dead now. Door's locked. There's an erratic noise, like a TV static coming from within. Is this ghost motherfucker still chasing me? Is he still here? <laughs> um, yeah, but I definitely, I'm really interested in, uh, like how RPG Maker does its shit. And RP RPG Maker 5 came out recently, and I actually want to toy with that a little bit at some point. Because I definitely remember, besides Corpse Party, there was another game that came out, like I think 2009, 2008, or something. No, I think it was 2010. And it was called Ib, and a lot of people wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. And I was like, what the hell is this? And I played a little bit of it, and I was like, it's just, it's just like... I was like, it's just sprites. Why are people telling me it's scary? It's like, it's the atmosphere, man. I'm like, I don't get it. So I never played Ib, and then fucking... I remember last time I streamed Corpse Party, there was a moment where motherfucker locked me in the room. And I got scared as shit, and I was like, okay, I'm a believer now. I'm sorry. I don't want no fucking... No fucking JPEGs popping up on my screen, scaring the shit out of me. Victim's memory, one out of five. I ate my friend today. Oh wait, didn't I read this already? What else was I supposed to do? I was starving. There's no food. We decided together and one of us should try to lead just a little bit. Okay, yeah. I read this already. I remember this. She said, man, I didn't want to eat my friend, but that was some good ass meat. I loved it. Oh, this is the room with the dude. If it's one of your favorite games, I'll, I'll like to play it. I'll, I'll try it at some point. I mean, it'll be nice to go back to it. This is the room that had the spooky bitch. Is he still here? Is he gone? Is he gone? This had the pulleys and levers and shit. Won't budge. Yeah, I remember I moved these around. For a little bit. I hate this room. Let me Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, no! You go away! Are you gonna follow me in here? Are you still right there? Like, right, right there? Maybe I can beat him. Oh, I I can beat him. I can definitely beat him. I can beat him in his own game. Hold up. I got this. Speedy Gonzalez, this shit. I'm the fucking, I'm the fucking road runner. Ha! Huh. Can't get me, bitch. I may look Asian as shit, but trust me, I'm black on the inside, and I know how to get the fuck out of here. I know how to hell nah situation. Alright. Down here. You know what I just realized? I, I picked up the doll. Maybe I gotta give that to the... To the chi to the children. Make them happy. Actually. Never pass a candle without saving. Rule number one. Too much bullshit going on in this game. Don't trust it. This is a piss bucket. There's a strange yell. Yeah, it's the piss bucket. Will I see my dead teacher? Is this like still... Can I still not go this way? Yep, dead teacher's over there in that room. Being all crushed and shit. There's a spooky room. Alright, I think I'm gonna... I think I can just head back to the children right now and hand them the doll. I think that'll be fine. All I gotta do is not get gripped up by the by the ghost man. Looking like the fucking creeper from Scooby-Doo walking around. Talking about, oh, I'm spooky and shit. Take a look at me. I'm scary, aren't I? You should be terrified at me. Fuck off. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Spooky bitch. Oh, now you can just... Oh, I thought he was gonna start walking over the... Over the flooring. Well, over the flooring that's not there. 
I'm like, oh, now you can just break the game whenever you feel like? That's fucked up. That's messed up. You can't do that to me. Okay, little children. You know what? Save again, because maybe they'll be like, I don't want this dolly, and then come and rip my head off. Hey, you want a doll? I got a doll. Uh, come play. Oh, ow. Okay, fuck. Damn, I got a doll, though. Play some dolls. We can play some Ken and Barbie. Which is like a terrible fucking... Isn't Barbie like the worst role model for like females? She's like, man, I gotta do all this shit for the approval of one dude. And half the time, Ken's like, whatever, Barbie, I'm gonna go fuck your friend in the corner over here. Alright, so... This is where I came from, right? Can't go that way. Fuck off, spooky man. I guess I'll keep going this way, then. <laughs> the way they do her now is nice, but old Barbie is yeesh. How'd they do her now? Is she empowered? D does she fucking go, fuck you, Ken? I'm gonna go fuck your friend in the corner over here. Oh, I need that. That seems important. It's shiny. I want it. I should... I should find like a piece of wood or something. Lay it flat there, walk over it. I like a plan when it comes together. <laughs> Alright. So did I go this way? Oh, it's the head to the doll. That's not creepy. There's a severed head of an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground. Pick it up? Sure, why not? Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it found a way to communicate its soul desire. What the? I can hear a voice. Return my body. Well, I have your body right here. Why do I know Barbie lore? I don't know. Why do I know Barbie lore? The only Barbie I should know is fucking to Toy Story. The most extensive lore. As the as the head and body Wow. I lost I lost my ability to read for a moment. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it began speaking more clearly and directly. What a high uh with a high pitched voice, like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold and distorted yet oddly song sing songy tone. Watashiwa, I know that word. That means I am. Oh. Never wanting them to die, but scared myself such death and pain. By the way, all lights in my room are off. I don't know why I did that. Now I want to turn them off. I'm so sorry, I feel so ashamed. I'm so very sorry. I'm not a bad man. Oh, wait, what? Never wanting them to die, but couldn't raise, couldn't raise a helping hand. I am so sorry. I feel so ashamed. I'm so very sorry. So, okay. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off? Like it's just playing around and saying what? That is such a good. Let me finish reading this first, so I can get my thought out. So sorry. So ashamed. I feel very sorry. We don't need this thing. Wait, don't you think it might count as a representation? Wait, what? As a repentance for the murderer? Just split chips all over the floor. <laughs> split? You mean spill? I split chips. I know the feeling, man. I fucking just had, before this, I picked up a giant, you know those ghetto bags of like cereal? There was one of like, oops, all Captain Crunch berries, and I was just eating out of it, and I dropped some, and I was like, fuck, my berries! I never forgive him, no matter what he says. So, what I wanted to say was that, um, one of the best things in horror ever is when, the best example I can use is like, I don't know too much about it, but Madoka Magica, there's a moment in that movie series or, so, or show or whatever, where one of the characters dies from this monster that's kind of childlike. 
And one of the most scariest things ever is if you have something just- Oh, shit. Okay, well, that door's bad. If you have something that's just, like, innocent and childlike, and it's killing things, not out of malice. So, like Kirby, for example. He's very fucking kind of scary when you think about it. He's a little murderer. Hey, how's it going? Kirby's like a little fucking murderer. It's kind of scary. He's cute as shit, but he just kills everything. That's why when you get into, like, the Dark Matter shit and, and Kirby and stuff, it's kind of freaky. Like, Zero and Zero Two and all that shit. Um... And, like, another example is, I've only played the base game of Little Nightmares, but when you play that, there's a song that plays on the TV, which, it's kind of, it's kind of jumbled up and, dis and distorted and stuff, so you're not really sure what's it saying until you, like, slow it down and look at it. What is this game called? It's Corpse Party. Th this game or, um, you mean this game or the one I'm talking about? <laughs> What I'm talking about is Little Nightmares. So, in the base game, there's like this TV that starts playing. The audio is kind of distorted, and it's like a, it's like a song that's playing. And if you fuck with the audio and listen to it, if you fuck with the audio and listen to it, the song is like, oh shit, hold up, what's happening? Suzumoto, help me! Open your eyes, please! Oh, shit. Haven't you ghost done enough already? I don't know everything. I don't know about it. Oh, my God. I can't even read it because my... The audio is so loud in my headset, but I can't change it for myself. There's no adjustment to it. I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get that it was really horrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that supposed to accomplish, huh? Oh, the, the ghost didn't like that. Maybe you shouldn't- maybe you shouldn't yell at the ghost that can snap your neck. Stop, if you make them mad, they'll shut us out. Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Uh, Ayumi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the- to the, uh, pen, pentant- pentant spiral? Whatever. Can't read. I'm having my moments, okay? I'm only human. Aw, she's calling for her mommies. You can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. Yeah, I'm not gonna let them finish their talking, because whatever they're saying in Japanese is definitely not what's being translated. The horrible thing that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones. Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. What if the ghost just goes, fuck that, and just, like, cuts her head off? And you're like, oh, fuck! Please, I know you can do it. They pull a fucking, spoilers for Star Wars, they pull a goddamn Ben Solo. He's like, father, will you help me? He's like, sure, son, anything. Now I can let go. Like, what the hell? Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. I don't think, I don't think they like being told what to do. No, stop. Duh. I, th I think we fucked up. Oh! Ayumi threw the antique doll to the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Suzumoto dead? Sounds like Suzumoto's dead. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Wait. Maybe we shouldn't leave the doll. She's crying. Of course she's crying. Her friend just died. <laughs> Not just her friend. I think like... I think it's the sister of her crush? I don't know. Of the actual main character? Oh yeah. All oh, her head is cur splat. Oh, Jesus. So this is how this got here. What the hell? 
This isn't. It couldn't be. Damn, dude. Shinazaki, don't look. Come on. Let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore. Damn, bro. What the hell? I'm really, I'm really starting to lose it. Oh, fuck. Who's this guy? Uh, hello? Help! <laughs> help! Somebody help me! This is why you don't go alone. That's why you hug a tree, you do what Barney did. You hug a tree and you go, Motherfuck! Oh, here's the teacher. Oh, she's still alive. What? The shell feels like it's gotten lighter. Oh, shit. I thought she died. So you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Yeah? Of course I am. Doesn't she look like fucking Tronbon? But you're just their instructor. No, you have no fam uh, familia. Familia? <laughs> okay. F Famulal, or whatever. Hey, how's it going? I... <laughs> That's my that's my generic hi to everybody because fucking I suck at saying names. Uh, bond with any of them. Oh shit, I barely heard that. Let me increase the sound on that. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I lowered the sound on that because I thought it was too loud before. Um, but you're just their instructor, no? You have no familial bond with them. You're not their mother. But they're my children. No, he just said you're not their mother. What? Huh. Oh my god. Surprise Pikachu face. I think I speak for every single one of us at Kizaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. I don't think that's true. We had a flashback of, of you know, the blonde dude getting yelled at by the coach. Coach called him a waste of space. So I think you're lying through your teeth, but okay. Never underestimate. Never underestimate. Never underestimate a teacher. Now, answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggests that more of my students are here than the two I came with and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the others, uh, were the others brought here as well? It is. Numerous, numerous, eh, numerous corporeal entities joined us in these clouded spaces, all at the same time. I said clouded, that's not even the word. Counting you, I sense the arrival of nine people. Ah, oh, shit. My right arm is definitely broken. Thanks a lot, ghost. And all this blood. All those cutting implements on the floor. On the- wait, on the floor? <laughs> on the shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. Shinozaki and Kishinuma must be worried I need to get back to the classroom. That spirit was trapped here, just like us, succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred, one victim drawn to another's harm. It's not just people trapped in this space, but there's sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these halls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Okay. Please, everybody, stay safe. Was that the end of Chapter 2? Continue in chapter three. Okay. And then we gotta watch the fucking the the credits for every chapter. Cause apparently this game plays like it's fucking ruin uh what's it called Delta Ruin or whatever. Releasing the chapters, man. No, I won't release it all at once. But um Yeah, back to the little nightmares thing. Uh you slow the song down and you listen to it, and the song is talking about a fucking bellman that was on the boat. And apparently, how, like, on their ship, he's no longer there and stuff like that. And it's like, huh. 
and then like you look in the background of like little bits and pieces here and there and it's like oh apparently they had like a bellman that was on their ship and the dude just like hung himself like in the beginning of the game you see like a pair of legs just hanging from the ceiling and you're like man that's fucked up so apparently that was the dude and the song is like really catchy too it's like how did the song go it's like hello hello we're all lonely hello hello come follow me hello hello something 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 no more bellman among the sea and i was like what the fuck penitence or patience or whatever the hell that thing says let me see do we have another extra episode no we don't how do i how do i backspace there we go chapter three so apparently every instance in this game every chapter like within the school is um it's in like a different space of time right so each character they're all experienced the thing at the same time like if you were to put them side by side but in the time scape that they're in is different so for example we just saw her head go splat against the fucking wall but that was already there in the first chapter Who the hell is that? And why is he here? If we got hit with a hammer like that, we'd be goners. Well, someone got hit with a hammer. Where's Kurosaki? Don't worry about him. He was just here. We're running to him any minute now. I'm sure of it. I hate this. I don't want to die like this. You saw it too, right, Emmy? Uh, Emmy's body? Her head? Her head was all split wide open. It had to be from that hammer. Don't think about it. Seriously. So who are we playing as now? Oh, this is new. I don't remember it having an intro like this. Did it have an intro like this in the last chapter? I don't think it did. Damn it. Where did everybody go? Question mark. What? Look. Freud. Look. The hallway. It can't be. The corridor. It grew? What? What are you... No, no, the other way. Look! Down the hall! Something's... yeah. I think something's coming. What? Nani? That don't sound good. That sounds even worse. Oh, that sounds terrible. Oh! Okay. Hey, Loney, uh, Loney. Wow, did I just say that? Hey, Lonely, how's it hanging? I'm, dude's just getting murdered. Okay. <laughs> what I just witnessed, was, was that my characters or was that characters from before? Not, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Lonely as usual. Aw. Oh, we're outside now. This new? We haven't been outside before. I thought they couldn't go outside because they were in like a space dimension or some bullshit. Listen. I'm assuming she's still running away from the dude. If you're ever running away from someone from for your life, never stop to be like, what the hell? Just keep going. Just keep going as far as you can. Just hell not out of there. Completely.
See, the man's still chasing her. She's sitting there. You imagine how far away she can be from him now. If she didn't just stop. Oh, hello. Give me back my head. Listen, fucking antivirus software. Every time I stream, you pop up with your bullshit. I check you every day. Leave me alone. <laughs> stop telling me to fucking scan my computer. No matter how many t times I tell you to fuck off, you keep coming back. Unidentified caller. Connected. Uh, hello? I don't think I want to do that. I don't think I want to help you. No, no, I just hang up the phone, throw it away, get a different number. It's all good. Uh, okay. Mom? Mom, it's me. I'm really in trouble. No, me, please. Just let me hear your voice. Please just say something. I'm your mother. God, please don't let everything have happened to her. Everything, anything. Okay, he's just gonna keep repeating it. All right. So apparently, her friend died that we were with. The one who's all like, "Man, I'm gonna butter my pooper up real good." And that's not even a joke. She literally said that, and I was like, "What the fuck?" I'm assuming her friend was like a, a low key lesbian. I'm not gonna lie. It just gave me that vibe. Oh, there she is, Psycho. I don't understand. You said we'd make it out of here together. Why would you kill yourself? What happened? I don't think she killed herself. I'm pretty sure someone strung her up there. What did you see? It really is a pity. Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're the author chick. Who are you? I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. No, you're not. If you were a spirit, you'd be blue. Now, answer my question. Who are you? Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. With what? D's nuts. Got him. What if she said that? That would be hilarious. I would start laughing. The curse that holds the school together. Those who are touched by it slowly loses their minds to, do, uh, to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to the great lengths to prevent it even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane. Sometimes, they start they start hurting the people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. That's horrible. It's more than horrible. It's dangerous for me and my well-being. Now that your friend has passed away, this school, this space, is yours alone. Only living occupant. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. It's actually here's a question real quick. How loud is the alert on the on the um stream? Because the game to me is overpowering all the audio. For you guys, I lowered the audio. For me, I can't lower the audio for the game. So I don't know how loud the alerts are. No. You'll be all by yourself from here on out until the next, you, until the next, uh, wow, until the day you die. Guess I'm alone now. Just lonely. The game's a little quiet and the alerts are really loud. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lower the alerts by like, by this much, and the game's really quiet. Okay. So I'm going to up the game by this much. Let's see how that... Is that better? Because it's only with Corpse Party. Because technically, even if you buy it on Steam, you are technically emulating it. So you can't run it in the background. 
if you run in the if you try to run in the background, the whole game freezes. It doesn't freeze, but it like it stops. Sounds pretty good. All right. Because any other time, I would be able to like monitor the game's audio and try and fix it. Um, like on the fly. Okay, sounds better. All right, thanks. Cause, <laughs> cause I really couldn't get a, I couldn't get a judge for the sound quality for this shit. My cell phone does have Psycho's number stored in it, and Satoshi's too. Oh, my leg is still fucked. Damn, my leg's even more fucked now. Oh god, it hurts. That sound. Was that my leg? I know the feeling. You ever go to the gym and you start working out? Or just work out? Alerts give you a heart attack every time. <laughs> oh, she just threw up. Oh, man. Oh, stop it. Don't do that. There's no food here. You gotta, you gotta eat that back up. You gotta eat your throw up back up. There's no food here. I'm not tough at all. I'm actually a bitch. I'm like really cowardly. Oh, Seko, why'd you have to go and walk off on your own like some idiot? I can't, I can't take any more of this. Somebody please help me. Deep sobbing. Yeah, I, I kind of assume so. Just a lot of, a lot of crying going on so far. A lot of death, crying. I want my mom's too, man. Satoshi, <laughs> call out for your loved one. Chapter three. Oh, finally we get the title card. Thanks a lot, Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> oh, here's Satoshi. Oh, this is him and his sister. Okay. So you're doing great, Yuka. Uh, I'm really impressed how long you've gone without crying. She looks like a fucking. She looks like a. <laughs> she looks like a just just a demon. It's that old school anime look with the super big eyes, but it's like, man, you look, you look like a mutant. I'm not crying. I'm not. Not yet, anyways. I sense that other corporeal beings such as yourselves were brought here as well. Nine in total. Nine poor souls pulled at once. That would be me and Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinos uh, Shinozaki, Miss Yui. Shinohara, Suzumoto, who's dead now, and Murashigi. Those are a lot of fucking, a lot of, a lot of nonsense vowels coming out my mouth right now. <laughs> oh, oh, Japan, your names are cool, but they're a mouthful. In other words, everybody in the room at the same time. Damn it. So everybody else is in this school too? Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. Okay, yeah, so everyone's in their own little, like, bubble of space. And even though they're technically all there at the same time, in their own bubble of space version of the school, it takes place in different times. It's really fucking weird. So in S's, they're all, uh, they are indeed all in the school, but it's not quite the same place for everybody. Meeting everyone else here may prove difficult. So, this is my question about this. I mean, don't answer it, right? Because I want to find it out, but... Is it possible to save those who have died already because some of us are still... If we can somehow pull them from their space into our space, which might be at an earlier time or something, might be able to save people. I'm not sure. That's what I'm getting at right now. It's not quite the same place for everybody. Meeting everyone else here may prove difficult. If you should if you should attempt to defy the wills of the school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath. And that's a fate best avoided. Okay. We have to try away! Because I'm fucking I'm the basic bitch anime protagonist, so we have to try. We appreciate the warning, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. On a chat. They're all. My man just pulled the Marth from Smash Brothers. He's like, Mina, Mr. Kure. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> They've done nothing to deserve this. I'm not sure about that. Some of them are kind of assholes. 
And I absolutely will not give up on them just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. Okay, that's a lie. I would give up in two seconds. I'd just kill myself, probably. It's a rarity to find such a righteous determination these days, but sure you don't lose it along the way. What? I mean, be sure you don't lose it along the way. You desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit, no matter what horrors may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better, if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. What is it? What did it mean by the school's wrath? It means the school's gonna fuck us. I'm not sure. He's saying the school has a mind of its own or something. At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yui and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home, too. If we, if we come across a way out of here, I want you to take it. There must be an entra entrance way, or an emergency exit, or a roof access, or something that leads outside. And if there is, you're, you're going straight home. No buts. No what's no buts, no coconuts. Capiche? Okay. And now I will merge inside your body. Together, we become as one, and we'll be stronger. Oh, plank of wood. I can't get over there, can I? Okay. I don't think I can get over there. Let me check this out, actually. So now one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet itself seems to be locked, so there's no way to get to it. Okay. And what about this? This newspaper article pinned to the wall. It's from a publication called Heavenly Post. The headlines reads, uh, Breaking news, serial killer... Okay. I think I read that already. The body of the accountant use were discovered with the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973, around 7 p.m. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloody scissors. Everything before and after these parts is too faded to be legible. What a horrible incident. I remember hearing about that uh, from Shinosuke. During one of the during one of her candlelight vi vigils. What? Yeah, that's the word, right? Vigils. <laughs> I guess she. I guess she did say it was a true story. Huh. Okay. First things first. I need to find a fucking candle because that was a long ass intro and there's no skip button in this game. So the first candle I see, I'm saving at that shit. Oh look, it's the piss bucket. There's a rusted bucket on the ground. It's empty. Oh. So this is even an earlier spot than, in terms of time, warped time dimension, this is even an earlier spot than chapter one, because there's yet to be piss in it. I think I just realized what's going to happen. I think his sister's going to piss in it. I think she's going to be like, brother, I got to use the bathroom. I can't hold it. Uh, bathroom's probably cut off or something. Can I walk across this? No, not yet. Okay. How do I... Oh wait, no, I'm, I'm sitting here like, how do I get to it? It was here before- Son of a bitch. Fucking game. It's toying with me. Oh? Uh? Oh hell nah. A child spirit? That red dress looked pretty old fashioned. Big brother? It's okay, she's gone now. We'll be fine. A g-g-g-g-g-g-g-ghost? This fucking, this fucking piece of wood. Son of a bitch. I hate you. Look at my angry anime eyebrows. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. There's no way to tell... <sighs> There's no way to tell my sister to just fucking like, Hey, stay on this side. Because we did that before. Oh, there we go. He's moving by himself. Is it just me or is the board moving? Yeah. It was over on this side a minute ago. Maybe we can ambush it? Let's try to find the exact spot where it was sitting before. Right here. Hey, Yuka. Can you wait here for a second? Don't die. Big brother, no! Don't leave me! Don't worry, I'll be right back. I just had a thought. That's all. Well, okay. But you have to come right back. You promise? You bet. The game just stuttered a bit for some reason. That was weird. Bro, I don't trust that. I don't trust- you know why I don't trust it? And the first, like, the first time they did it, I'm like, I trust it, right? Well, I didn't trust it, but it worked. 
I don't trust this because fucking we just saw a spooky bitch staring down at the end of the hallway. Yuka, can you grab that board? Uh-huh, I got it. Quite a loose board. It's better to have her stay there, though, instead of to have her walk around by herself. Nicely done. I say we're one step closer to getting out of here. You all set? Come on, let's go. Okay. Actually, wait a second, big brother. She has to use the bathroom. What's up? Um, this is for you. Oh, such a cute little bottle. Well, you see, it's my secret charm. It's full of, it's full of scented beads. Oh, sure are a lot of them in there. Give it a sniff. I don't... Just carrying around a plank of wood? Yup. <laughs> hey, caramel. That smells really good. How do you pronounce caramel? You pronounce it caramel? Caramel? Camarilla? <laughs> Isn't it neat? She probably spent her allowance at this at the sanitary shop. Sanitary shop? Stationary, my bad. Shopping in town again. See? Caramel fell uh yeah, that, that, that can't speak. Caramel flavor is special. It protects you from accidents and shields you from danger. Oh. Is this like proper health mechanic now? That's why I want you to have it. Flavor? This place frightens you? Don't worry. It'll be alright. You should hang on to it yourself. But I really don't mind. You take it. Huh? I just... I don't want anything to happen to my big brother. What happens when you actually do... <laughs> when you actually do the scam? Wait, what? <laughs> what happens when you actually do the scam? What? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> scam? Oh, oh, you mean the... Oh. Oh, yeah, you mean the fucking follower scam. I, I spaced out for a moment. Um, I don't know, man. I don't fuck with any of that. <laughs> You're scatterbrained. You already get freaked out so easily, and it really scares me. Her whole body is quaking in fear. She really wants me to take it. Dude, I should totally decline the shit out of this. I just feel it in my gut that she's going to die if I don't... If I don't hand it to her. And you know what's worse about this? It wouldn't even be that bad. I didn't save yet. So I can't even redo this if I want. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Mm. What, what should I do? Shit. Uh, against my better judgment. God damn it. Your fate has been sealed. You will die now. I guess I can borrow it for a little bit. Take good care of it, okay? Caramel flavor will keep you safe, but that's not all. Want to know what else it does? It's a secret. Huh? You want to know what else it does? Yeah, no, it's a secret. What's the secret? It keeps you from dying? <laughs> if I tell you, you'll get all bothered, so I'm not gonna. Something that would bother me. More like, <laughs> more than call me a scatterbrain? Bothered? Did I did I read it wrong? I'm sorry, did I read it wrong? <laughs> sometimes like sometimes when it comes to me reading, what happens is that I read so fast that my mouth isn't able to keep up the pace. Oh, I read it right. Okay. Yeah, my mouth isn't able to keep up the pace of how my brain perceives the words. Oh fuck, get me the hell out of here. Oh hell no. <laughs> oh hell no. It was really dark in there. Oh god. Zero trust in any of these characters. I can trust the sister until she starts saying fuck shit. I need a fucking save point. Come on, man. Give me a candle or something. Oh, well, I just wasted that board. Welcome to the dead end where I die. There's a large gap in the floor here. Too wide to jump across through any normal means. Am I gonna get cornered by a ghost? Can I pick this back up? Nope. 
Okay, well, that was my one use item. God damn it. What does this say? Is this the same? Worse than be fainted. Worse will keep blinding in darkness. Okay. Time for spooky shit. Hello? Anybody in here? Oh. What the hell is that noise? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> oh, it's okay, man. Take your time. You know why I just got scared? I didn't get scared because of the thing that happened. I got scared because he yelled right in my fucking ear. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're hurting my hand, big brother. Hey, be careful. Don't fall off the fucking ledge. <laughs> my yelp was so funny. <laughs> Trust me. Usually I don't scream in panic, to be honest. It was just, it was right in my ear, so it scared the shit out of me. Usually I just go, fuck, or damn it. Yuka, don't look. It's not a prop or anything. It's a real dead body. The guys want to see a dead body? It's really happening, isn't it? Big brother? Dead body. An, actually de an actual dead body. Am I going to end up like this too? Are we all going to die here? What do you want, Yuka? Can't you see that I'm groveling at my existence here? Come on, Yuka. We're leaving this room. Get back inside of me. <laughs> we shall merge together to become strong. Look at that no data. It scares the hell out of me. There's a quartz sprue uh, spilled on the ground. Decomposing rapidly. A message has been painstakingly carved into the floorboards next to it, seeming, uh, seemingly with fingernails alone. Now, again, at some point, a spirit told me I should not fucking look at any of this shit because I might go insane, and I'm not sure if that's an actual mechanic in this game. It might be. Kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Oh, God. Can't take anymore, can't take anymore, can't take anymore. Let me out. Okay. There's a course spewed on the ground, decomposing rapidly. It's, uh, it's clutching a letter in its hand. The letter reads as follows. Dear brother, I regret that we weren't... Uh, we weren't... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Can't speak. <laughs> I regret that we couldn't see one another again before my death, but I do no longer have the energy to move, and I am so desperately thirsty. My tongue started swelling up like a sponge, and it keeps cutting off my air. I find it fascinating if it would stop if it would stop nearly suffocating me. I just want something to drink. Anything. Heck, I'll even drink the scary orange juice from the back of the fridge right, up, right about now. But there's no drop of anything to be found. I'm so thirsty. It's actually making me nauseous. Weird, huh? I just hope that at least you can make it out here alive. If anyone else finds this, my name is... Hiroko, Hiroko Motomura, uh, Hiroko Motomura, from uh, from Azam, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> from Amazi Amazaki, God damn it, <laughs> West High, Class Two Four. Curse me in my ghetto dialect, I cannot pronounce vowels. Oh look, it's a note, victims' memoirs. Otaki Misu, uh, Misuharu. I want to see you again. A ghost told me that you were brought here too, but we're in different spaces. Even though we're in the same school, I can't see you. Why did this happen to us? I couldn't be here. I shouldn't. I should be in my math one class at prep school. My sister's going to be really mad at me for skipping. I don't think she believed this exists, even if I told her though. I feel like I. I feel like if I can ever find you, I'll be able to get out of here alive. I don't know why. But if we really are in the same school, then I must, uh, then there, uh, I know there must be a way getting into contact with you, and I'm going to find it. Okay. Can I go down here? Nope. Too thin. I don't like how the music stopped. It's unsettling. Hello? Is anybody in here? Knock, knock. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> 
the sound the sound of a fucking bug buzzing in my ear. Oh, you could don't be possessed. Come on. Will we ever will we ever be able to get home again? Or are we really stuck here until we die? It's not true, right, big brother? Right? Alright, they're giving me so many damn choices. Uh, how should I know? No, we'll be okay, Yuka. Fuck. We'll be okay. We'll make it out of here, Yuka. All of us together. There's no need for you to worry. After all, you got me, right? Don't cry, little child. That's a good girl. Are you okay? You better stop coughing on me. You coronavirus out here, man. It's crazy. There's got the better of you, huh? Poor thing. I have to be strong. I have to swallow my own trepidations and show Yuka there's nothing to be afraid of. Somewhere in here, Naomi may also be feeling scared and alone. We need to find her as soon as we can. Now with the determination of the anime Mamoru powers, I shall save the world. Fight the demon god that awaits me. Is there anything, anything down here that's gonna change? Oh, fuck! <laughs> A way to prevent bullies is by coughing on them? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's, that's kinda dark when you think about it. Damn, another earthquake. Yuka, grab my hand. Stop whimpering. It makes me whimper. It's hard to be... It's hard to be fucking brave all by myself. It's over. Oh, and then the world magically fixed itself together. Okay. We're not even gonna question that? We're just gonna look at it? Alright, cool. Whatever. Oh, look, a dead body. There's a skeletal remain... <laughs> Oh, there are skeletal. I thought it said there's a skeletal. I'm like, what? There are skeletal remains of a young girl sprawled across the ground. Looking closely, it seems to be holding a letter in her bony fingers. Yosuke. Yosuke. I'm so sorry. If only I had discovered that stupid charm. Oh. A charm, you say? Yuka, you better not have doomed me. You handed me a fucking charm. You missed the final bell, you missed the end of school. If you're still here, then you always will be. Oh, fuck. Ain't that the truth? Uh, no, I don't think so. I just don't think so. You know what? No. No, it's not happening. God damn it. <laughs> don't look at me. Don't look at it. It doesn't exist. Oh. Oh, no. I don't want to look. I don't want to look in its direction. That thing will kill me. What'd you miss? Uh, me gro. Oh. Oh shit. A heavy cabinet collapsed across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climb over it would be far too risky. Did I activate the ghost? Good. You just stay over there. You just stay over there. I need a fucking sit. You know what? Just because I don't see one right now. Uh, okay. He just stopped moving for a second. I was like, what the hell? Just because I don't see one right now, and we just went through like a good number of cutscenes, I'm gonna run all the way back to that save point because I'd rather not have to do all that shit. Let's think ahead of time. Let's not do a Parasite Eve again, where I have to fight the final boss fucking four times in a row. Technically, I guess, uh, 20 times, no, not 20, 16 times in a row. Don't look at the dead bodies. They are spooky. There we go. See, look at that. That's like about a 10 minute difference. Imagine having to do that 10 minutes all over again. Would have sucked. All right. So down here, we have the spooky ghost, scaring the ever-living shit out of me. You know, 
telling me about how she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna Danny Phantom my life, possess me. She's not even like the cool ghost from Danny Phantom. Like the biker chick ghost who's all like, man, fuck it. I just wanna, I just wanna live to write. Did she piss in the bucket yet? No, she hand me some caramel and fucking, we saw a dead body and some other shit. She got scared, <laughs> and I told her I wasn't scared. I'm so cold, I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body bit by bit. And there, uh, and then there's that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt, I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there's a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size, appearing longer and shorter, pretty much on a whim. I wonder where it is. I hate that I don't feel anything when it when I see human bodies anymore. It sickens me. Oh shit. Okay, can I go through here? The front entrance might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. Okay. Uh no, she was crying though, yeah. She was crying and then and just like fucking Kiryu from Yakuza 1. I smacked her across the face and I said, stop crying. What the hell am I reading? Oh? Uh, is it backwards? Oh, it is backwards. Hold up. Wait, 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 what? Free of the... Free of the curse. May you... May you use... What the fuck? Free of the curse, may you use the... Uh -huh. May you use right... Right... Right words? May you use right words as a guiding to help... What the fuck is that word? I don't even know what that word is backwards. I tried my best. <laughs> Let me try that again, actually. Uh, What the fuck? Break. Oh, thank you. Shit. Thanks for that. <laughs> I wasn't able to do it. Okay, so there's only one way to go. Nope. I didn't kill nothing. You're just, you're, I'm not even here. You're just talking to yourself. Nope, I don't want to play. No, you stay over there. You stay hunched over. Like the fucking bell ringer of Notre Dame. Dirty husk left behind by soul, filthy, disgusting carbon dust. Repulsive bag of meat and tissues, yet one may scrub and clean it well, presented as the moment of salvation. For the Lord doth which over us wait what? For the load <laughs> load. For the Lord doth watch over us as always. Okay. Moving on with my life. My angry anime eyes. There's a door. Infirmary, the door's locked. Well, guess that means can't go that way. Mmm! I don't like that! Science lab, the door seems affixed to the wall. Excuse me. Door seems affixed to the wall. Like a carbon core. What the? Okay. <laughs> Looks like I didn't have fucking H2MO flash here, but okay. I didn't put that there. Did I put that there? I didn't put that there. I'm not going that way. I don't trust it. Well, I'm going that way. I trust it now. Oh, look, a dead body. The skeletal remains of female students are sprawled across the floor, pinned, pinned to what's left of the school uniform as a student ID name. Saint, uh, Mar Maruni- Fuck, I'm not even gonna try, man. It's a dead body. <laughs> There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. I guess. My life's fucked anyways. Let's just ignore the obvious blood puddles over there. An unknown key. Probably for the infirmary. Hello? Anyone here who's not gonna kill me? Boys room to the left, girls room to the right, to the end of the hall. Yes, child? What's up? I have to go potty. Oh well, the sign says there's a lab lavatories ahead, so I'll wait here for you. Okay. Sorry to ask, but which one is it? 
Gotta take a piss. Gotcha. If anything happens, just yell real loud, okay? Okay. Wait a minute. Oh! Is she gonna run to the end of the stall, open it, and then there's gonna be that fucking gentleman ghost who's all like, Fuck! Close the door! And then she's gonna get freaked out. I hate asking such a personal question, but this is this place is full of surprises. I need to know how long to wait before getting worried. He's like, man, she might shit herself at some point. Damn. You okay? You done already? I couldn't go. Huh? She said, for some reason, I couldn't go. I just have an affinity for buckets right now. Is there anyone... Oh, I'm in control of this. Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's why. Seriously? Damn, okay. Well, that makes sense. You weren't kidding. You really couldn't go. This is... this. Okay, class, this is the f only time you can ever look at your teacher when they ask you that dumb question of, I don't know, can you go? You look at them, you go, no, I actually can't, bitch. And then you walk the other way. <laughs> you weren't kidding. You really couldn't go. Let's try to find another bathroom, okay? Can you hold it? Be nice if a boys' room was an option, at least. Well, boys' room's not an option. Only one place to go. <laughs> Why the fuck did all teachers ask that question? Because they thought they were fucking smart. And they always did that because they hated the fact that whenever you caught, caught them being dumb, you would be like, hey, teacher, this is wrong. They'd go like, no, I'm the teacher. And you go, but it's, but it's wrong, though. <laughs> I used to do that all the time. I was never, I was never a bad student. I had, like, my teachers liked me. Except for one, my, my Spanish year two teacher. And I don't know what it was. Maybe it was because she knew my sister or something. Or like, she just... She didn't like the people I hung out with or something. But like, my... She was like some... She was like a really old lady. Um, so old that one time in class she shat on herself. And that's not even a joke. Like, she literally shat on herself. And it was sweet revenge. Um... Probably pinchy bit the house. <laughs> cool. There's the bucket. And um, I'll, I'll finish the story after I read this. There's a rusted bucket on the ground. It's empty. Come on, child. Use it. <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> um, what was it? Yeah. So, and my first Spanish teacher loved the shit out of me. I loved her too. She was great. Um. So it just got to the point where I was also one of those kids that just never showed up to school, mainly because, mainly because I already had everything figured out for me and I didn't need to show up to school. Um, but it got to the point where I got tired of her shit and I was like, fuck it, if you're going to treat me like shit, I'm just not going to do shit in your class. So I would never do nothing in her class besides draw and just like kind of hang out. And it got to the point where she hated me so much to where she could have failed me and tried to give me the fucking class the next year, which I wouldn't have gone to regardless. But instead, she didn't want to have the possibility of having me again, so she just passed me. So when, <laughs> so the next year rolled around, I'm like, why am I in Spanish three <laughs> if I did nothing? And I said, man, I would have kept Spanish three too, but then I was like, since I didn't do shit in Spanish two, there's no reason for me to have Spanish 3, so I was like, fuck it, can I just get, like, a second study hall? And then that's what I did. It was like that in your Spanish class. <laughs> you had to, you had to make you take a final, yet. Oh, man, I remember the final. There was, like, a spoken part of the final, and then, and, like, I just did the multiple choice, whatever, and it was time for me to speak, and then she said, she started speaking Spanish. I said, listen, I don't know what the hell you're saying to me, but it's whatever, man. <laughs> Alright, so we can't go over there. Like, that teacher really hated me. For no reason. Like, legit, the only time I... Actually, that's a lie. That's not the only time I ever had a teacher hate on me for no reason. 
there's another reason. I feel bad because it didn't retain all the Spanish. Yeah, I used to speak Spanish when I was younger, uh, cause my dad Spanish side, but um, but then, you know, the fam the family problems happened, so fucking, I didn't didn't hang out with that side that much anymore. So I lost all ability to speak Spanish, but I can still kind of, still kind of pinpoint the gist of what some of them are trying to say sometimes. Okay, what the hell? Oh. I'm sorry, Seiko. I hear the voices of the damned. You were born with it? Yeah, I wish. I had that chance, but then, you know, fucked up, so can't use it. That's why I chose Spanish. I was like, man, I would love to speak it again, but then... First year was great, second year teacher hated me, and I couldn't do shit for third year, so... But whenever my mom needs me to speak to some of the Spanish ladies at the bodega, she definitely goes like, come over here and help me out. And I'm like, all right, I don't speak Spanish, but I can get the gist of what they're, what's going on here. The bed has a lot of, a lot of less dust than I would have imagined. Hmm. Big brother, I'm tired, but you still have to pee. Are you? Do you want to take a quick rest before we go then? Why did she say that before I even do it? The rest, uh, the rest here with me too. If you wince it. They're giving me a lot of choices. It's making me uncomfortable. You're gonna wet the bed. You're totally, you're gonna wet the bed. There's no way you're not gonna wet. That's why I saved before this. That's why I saved before this. If you insist, I certainly can't hurt to lie down a bit. Won't be worried, uh... Okay, quick question. Was I supposed to fucking... I'm not sure if any of you know it, but... Was I supposed to check the guy's bathroom first and then run to the bucket? Because I feel like I have to get her to piss in the bucket. Not because of the jokes, but because, like... In the other time zones with the characters, there was piss in the bucket. So there has to be piss in the bucket. We'll all die if she doesn't pee in the bucket. That's all I'm saying. We're all gonna die if she doesn't pee in the bucket. Uh, I'd be worried leaving you here by yourself anyways. Hmm. Uh, what is that sound? <laughs> oh, now you're hungry. You gotta use the bathroom, you're hungry, you're sleeping. What aren't you? Yeah, me too. We have that caramel you gave me. You wanna eat it? I wonder what time it is. Feels like it's probably time for dinner with mom. I'm not sure. My watch stopped a while ago. I wanna go home. Don't worry, we'll get home. We'll find a way. Wait, must have lived in Guatemala? Should be really learning basic fan. Oh, really? Okay. That's cool. I only knew like one Guatemala person. And I swear to God, when I first met her, I was like, are you Asian? <laughs> She's like, no, I'm Guatemala. I'm like, you look really fucking Asian, man. <laughs> uh, Once we meet up with Naomi, Yoshiki and the others... You're shaking the others, I'm sure will come, eh, for some reason, I had a hard time reading that, I don't know why. They're all probably looking into possibly escaping, uh, possible escape routes themselves right now. So we better keep up the search too, or else we'll look like slackers by the time they find us. Either way, it'll work out, I know it will. Okay, if you really believe that. Then, I believe it too. I'll go to sleep a little, Yuka. Don't piss yourself, though. It'll all work out, huh? We can't even open the windows here, much less get outside. I basically just told her that we can we can circumvent reality. Nothing but empty words, uh, thin as paper. But I guess it's the hope of escape that gives us a reason to keep going to keep living. I love how I stuttered there so many times. What the hell? Oh, I was so confused. I was like, who the fuck? It looks like, if you look at it at a right angle, it looks like an old man with glasses on him. And I was like, who the fuck is that? Is the dude that got clocked over the head. Is he being buried in a box? All we can do is tell ourselves we'll find a way out and pray that it actually happens. He's being buried alive? Am I in a basement? A cellar? Where the hell am I? He's like, oh, what happened last night? God, my head's pounding. Oh, 
no! No! It's you! Where the hell did you take me? Don't you laugh at me, this isn't funny, I'm not laughing. Where's Shinozaki? You guys are assholes. Had a little too much tequila. It's always tequila. I've never been drunk in my life. I don't even drink that much, honestly. Uh, I rarely drink. And I'm more of a wine guy. But every time I've heard someone find out what their limit was, it's always been tequila. They're like, man, I just drunk too much tequila and I found out what my limit was. It's always tequila. You wish that were me? I wish I had some, like... I don't... Again, I don't drink that much, but I wish I had, like, some mead. I love mead. Honey wine? It's great. Like, when my birthday came last time, all I did... All I did that day, I was like, man, I just want to watch some movies. I want a bottle of mead and just a pizza. And that was it. That's all I ate that day. Was a, was a single pizza, some mead, and just watched movies. Was Rose, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> shit. I'm waiting for the day where where the new generation goes like, man, I found out what my limit was, Rosé. Well, they're like, I found out what my limit was. What was you drinking? White Claw. It's like, what? Uh, I can't stand up. Oh, wow, he's gonna kill me. He said, kuso. That doesn't mean goddammit in Japanese. It means shit, doesn't it? It's a different meaning. Damn, I nodded off. Could have sworn I just saw my friend die. What am I doing? This is no time to be sleeping. Had some beer in the fridge and you drank it all and got hella drunk. <laughs> you know what? Here's the one thing I never understood. The one jackass who's like, Man, I opened this bottle of vodka. And we're all adults here. So if you drink alcohol, no one's going to yell at you. So why the fuck did you pour it into a water bottle? <laughs> like, I remember coming home one day, I was thirsty as hell, and I saw a water bottle there, and I was like, oh yeah, water bottle, it's nice and cold. I opened it without even smelling it or anything, because why would you smell a water bottle? And I chugged it down, and I spat it out instantly, and I went, what the fuck? This is vodka. <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> Big brother. So now, whenever you find a water bottle in the fridge that you don't know that was there before, I suggest that you just shake it and see if it bubbles. If it bubbles, then it's vodka. <laughs> Did I accidentally ask <laughs> drink your mom's vodka? <laughs> oh, man. I've never been drunk. The closest I've ever been to it is, uh, actually, it was that day on my birthday when I drank all that. Because I drank the whole bottle to myself. And I wasn't drunk, but since drinking, um... Since drinking like dehydrates you, my shoulder blades hurt like a motherfucker. So I was just laying in bed and I was like, oh, I made a mistake. No, I'm in pain. And then fucking. <laughs> and then as I'm doing that, I look to the corner and I'm looking at the bottle that's like has like one eighth left. And I was like, there's still a little bit in there. I got to finish it. <laughs> I can't leave it. So I'm sitting there in pain. and I was like, I'm like, oh, no, I don't want no more. And I was like, well, I can have a little bit more. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> this isn't home. Stop crying, child. Don't cry, Yuka. It's only going to be a little longer, I promise. When we get back, I'll buy you some rock candy, okay? The green kind with the sweet red bean flavor? You bet. I know how much you've been craving it. <laughs> you drank your dad's apple juice. <laughs> You're like, Dad, I want some apple juice. He's like, no, son. I was like, eh, fuck, I'm gonna give me some apple juice. <laughs> yes. Here I go. That's a girl. Food. Let's get her every time. I wonder about Naomi. I hope she got something to keep her I hope she got someone to keep her company. Shinohara or anyone really. I wonder if they're dead. <laughs> Possibly hung themselves. She may be strong-willed, but she loses heart really quickly if no one's there to keep her get that, 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 keep her grounded. <laughs> Come on, Yuka, let's go. Can't stand right. You can stand right. Uh huh. I'm okay now. If you get tired again, we can always come back. 
Okay. Oh! That's a hell no. Save my progress? Well, of course I will. There's a blood splatter notebook on the desk with the word diary written on it. There's some sort of prop, however, particularly molded into the desk. It can't be moved or opened. Okay, what about this? It, look at the front Motherfucker. Look at the goddamn... It's broken, uh, it's broken down space heater. It doesn't look safe to use. Okay. There's a selection of old newspaper on the floor. Read it. <sighs> I probably shouldn't. Four children abducted and killed. Follow-up report. The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. A large pair of swelling scissors, swelling, sewing scissors, were found in his possession. And these are confirmed to be the tool used to remove the victim's tongues, ultimately leading to the death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. This carnal mass, uh, this carnal mass was found on the floor next to her body. Carnal? Cranial. My bad. <laughs> I just realized I said that. Uh, of these children, one was <laughs> when investigators arrived at the scene of the crime. She was <laughs> but somehow <laughs> the <laughs> and that <laughs> the newspaper is torn at this point. The bottom half is article is missing. Big brother, the children in this picture. Yeah. That's the girl in the red dress. Newspaper, <laughs> newspaper went in such detail. It's like, yo, you want to see a, you want to see a severed head? Like, no, not really. Here's a severed head. <laughs> and that boy wearing shorts. He's the one who saw them. Uh, he's the one we saw earlier. Oh no, a boy wearing shorts. You know that's Trainer Joey, out here with his fucking rattata, saying, "I like shorts." Like, did I ask? <laughs> Someone seems to have made notes in the margins of the article using a red pen. Friends killed by spirits of children. Law? Purpose? Spreads of the curse? Gathering. Children with no tongues. Girl with top of head missing. Girl in a red dress. Child victim? Gr grud grudge? <laughs> Gave shade to the school building. Escape. That's a bunch of gibberish. That sounds like Shinozaki's voice. Oh, wow. I didn't even read it. <laughs> I didn't even read what he was saying. I was like, isn't that what she just said <laughs> in the opening? That's Shinozaki's voice. Come on, Yuka. Let's go. Okay. Tom the Mamoru. It's my favorite thing to do. Mmm. So this is the time in a different space where she got splatted. What is it? The floor was stained with sticky residue as if something or more likely someone was dragged down the hall. I mean, listen, can we blame her, though? I mean, well, can we blame her? Can we blame the ghost for killing her? Because her dumb ass was like, Oh, look, it's little children. Let's play with them. Like, why would you do that? Why would you ever walk up to a ghost child, especially one that had their head removed, and go, I'm going to go play with them? Like, what? <laughs> there's, a me there's a metal, too, of some sort lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Sure, why not? Uh, does this mean that the scary ass headless ghost girl is walking around? Yeah. <laughs> they can freely go through different space time, I assume. Yep, and this is where she totally got fucked. There's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet, and there's no indication of how it got there. Okay. Okay, I have a I have a theory, but it's just a game theory. Okay. So. In, in her space-time, she just died. But in our space-time, this happened... Right now, we're in a time zone where we are further ahead than everyone else. So far. But since... Even though we're in a different time zone, since her events just happened in her time zone, the effect just changed. So that's why the blood is all dried up like it's been here for a long time. So ba basically, basically it's fucking part five, uh, uh, King Crimson, the stand. That's literally what just happened. 
like the event happened and we're now in the future. <laughs> they just edited out the video. That's what it is. I never understood why people didn't understand how King Crimson worked, even in the even in the manga for JoJo. They're like, how does it work? Makes no sense. And I'm like, guys, it's just like editing a video. You say, hey, man, I'm going to cut here and then you get to a different point. Right. But the events that happen between one cut from from your starting point of a cut to the end point of the cut still happened. That's just how King Crimson works. It was never hard to to understand. I don't know why people never understood it. It's like reality happened, but it just cut ahead of time. And you just don't remember what happened. Well, let's see. The door is boarded up with tightly hammered nails. They won't open. Use the nail puller to remove them. I didn't even know I had a nail puller. Was that what I just picked up? Yes. Time to use the bathroom. Alright, Yuka. It's all you. Are you free to hold it in any longer? That's relief. Oh! I mean, she could still use the urinal. So what now? Use the urinal. Do you have to go really bad? Well, if you can't hold it any longer, then how about I wait outside and you do what you gotta do? No, I'll keep holding it. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, but don't strain yourself. When you gotta go, you gotta go after all. Huh. Okay. Perfectly fine urinals right there. Or urinal, as like people as some people like to say. That's not even a joke. I had someone fucking pronounce urinal as urinal in front of me and I looked at them. Huh? How old is she supposed to be too? I know she looks too. I think she's uh nine? I think she's supposed to be nine. But since it's like old school anime, she has like the Sakura card captor giant eyes. <laughs> like it's Clanot or some shit. Sounds like a camera. Who just took my picture? Who's posted my news on Twitter.com? Who posted my nudes on Twitter.com? Oh! Oh, Moshigi. You okay? Ugh. Moshida. Man, I'm not gonna lie. This dude sounds like a bitch. I'm so relieved to see everyone else from class. Yeah. Huh? What the hell? Don't look, child! What? What is this? Okay. I have another theory now. No one till this point had a camera where I've taken a picture of anything. So maybe, you know how, how like in Japan, if you ever played a Fatal Frame or something like that, they say that cameras can trap the spirit because it takes a moment in time and stuff like that. Maybe the camera can somehow reveal things of the past. So, theoretically, if we were to, at some point in time, take a picture of an area where someone may be, maybe we can just bring them to our zone. I feel like I'm overthinking this. I'm definitely overthinking this. Wait, what is this? Is it... Was it a person? It's an awful sight, isn't it? Seems like pulverizing human remains to me. There's a bit of a there's a bit of breast meat mixed in it, so I'm guessing female. What do you know? How do you know what breast meat looks like? Unless there's just literally just like a severed titty hanging out. Never thought I'd see something so horrific. Makes me want to throw up, but I won't throw up, and I'm talking about it so calmly. Yeah. I love how the dude's like, oh man, it makes me want to throw up. That's why I took a picture of it. Like, what? <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you're all right. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just woke in here a short while ago and I haven't encountered a single other soul. Same story as us, then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else either. So you haven't seen uh, Mayu? Nope. Poor girl. I'm sure she's in here somewhere, shivering and crying. Isn't that her splattered on the wall? 
I need to find her. Oh no, wait, no, that's Suzumoto, right? Is Suzumoto Mayu? I'm not sure. They they call each other by their last names and shit. I need to find her. I need to be with her. Okay, calm down, dude. Keep it in your pants. I'm certain Suzumoto might be thinking the same thing about you. Oh, so that is Suzumoto. He just took a picture of Suzumoto's dead body. <laughs> How about we look for her together? I think I found her. <laughs> no, if we split up, that raises the odds of stumbling upon someone. It also raises the odds of us dying. Look at Suzumoto there. So I'm going to take another look around the building myself. All right. And how about we d designate room 1A as an official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell me, uh, tell them we're all getting together there. And we'll do the same. Sounds good? Sounds like a plan. That guy's gonna walk away and do some shifty shit. What is that? Is it throw up? Uh, um, I guess. It's nothing. Hey, just don't look at it. Come on, let's get out of here. That boy, he was talking. I'm sure it wasn't talking or taking. I didn't read it in time. I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Come on, let's go, okay? Okay. The hell was that? Why did I get like a stinger sound effect? Okay, so back into the infirmary real quick. I don't like how the music is trying to scare me. Save that. Right? And then... I am... Where the fuck? I am going to be right back because, as our friend here said, when you gotta go, you gotta go. Because I have to use the bathroom. So I'll be right back in, like, give me five minutes. Around, not five minutes, that's... Yeah, you know, about five minutes.
Okay. I have returned. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Make sure everything's working. Game audio. There we go. Cool. Let me see. Oh, man, I haven't seen the anime either. I can't wait to watch the anime, to be honest. But I have to play all the games first. Damn it. I do remember when it was coming out for Vita, though. A lot of people were going crazy over it. And I was like, man, what's, what the fuck? Why is everybody going crazy over some corpse party shit? And then something about a beach festival or something? I don't know. <laughs> something like that. But I was like, I told myself, you know what? Maybe one day I'll play this. And here we are. Playing this creepy shit. All right. So we just saw Glasses Boy as he shined his glasses in my face, like like he's fucking Uriu from Bleach. My Quincy powers. Ten years later, we're gonna be like, hey, remember the Quincys? And then you go like, why wasn't that the second arc that you went to, the Return of the Quincys? They're like, eh, because we're stupid. All right, so I came from there. We were, we were going back down. Yeah, okay, we're going back down because we got to get her to go piss in that bucket. If she doesn't piss in that bucket, we'll all die. So does anybody else find it weird how that dude just like super nonchalant about seeing dead bodies? And he's like, man, it makes me want to throw up, but he's taking pictures of it. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. He wears glasses. I don't trust him. Ghost is gone. That's nice. <laughs> That's weird as hell. He's all like, makes me want to throw up. But look at this picture, bro. That's like that's like the one guy you might know that who's who's all like, man, two girls in one cup is fucking nasty as shit. Bro, want to watch it again? And you go, no, you loser. Child, the time has come. The bucket, now. Damn it. So this is 1A. This is where we're going to be rendezvousing. How does you know it's breast meat? Exactly. It's like, in, like, unless there's literally just a fucking ripped off piece of like just breasts hanging on the ground with like nipple and all areola and all that's the only way I can think about it right if there's just like a you know disembodied titty on the ground but fucking I'm, I'm assuming that she went cursed black completely so it's nothing but red meat so it's like how do you know how do you know you weirdo all right I came down this way because I was hoping she would piss in that bucket. <laughs> if you take if you take what I just said out of context, it makes me sound like the most perverted guy ever. It's like, man, I was just waiting for this girl to piss in this bucket. She's just waiting for the liquid gold. I think I want to stop this joke now. <laughs> it's getting too much for me to handle. Uh it's not the worst thing I've ever done, though. <laughs> if you read my About Me, right in there, I'm just like, yeah, man, so what? I played hentai games. It's whatever. Become desensitized to it at some point. You read it for the story. God, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it. There's just one game that I played, and I'm like... And it's just like story heavy, and the moment the characters start getting down to business, I'm like, stop fucking... I want to read the rest of the story. I don't want to watch you guys fuck no more. It's not Nekopara though. It's not ne it's not Nekopara or any of the soccer games. It's not those, because I don't like them. <laughs> Nekopara I don't like because they want you to pay an absurd amount of money for something that doesn't even have that good of writing. And then uh, the soccer games are just unbelievably just like too many coincidences you know like I'm all up for anime hentai hijinks right but when it's all like oh no I tripped over some wires and now I'm perfectly wrapped up in a bondage position it's like what I don't get it <laughs> 
So those games, I'll skip those. I mean, like, I mean, like the real stuff, the stuff that you find on a fucking manga gamer. Does that site even work anymore? Does that site still selling shit? Best fucking best Edo game I ever played was fucking Princess Evangel. It was awesome. I loved it. So she can't use the bathroom, right? She can't use the boys' bathroom. She won't piss in the bucket. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. Was this here before? Uh, Misura. Uh, fuck. Names, goddammit. Really isn't anywhere to be found, is he? I guess it's true. I'll probably never see him again. But I may have figured out a way to, of getting contact with him at least. He left me a message on the teacher's desk in one of the classrooms. Looks like even when we're in different spaces, we can still communicate that way. But it's not enough. There's no warmth to be felt from the from the written word alone. I miss our fights. Our impromptly what? I read that right, right? Impromptly wrestling matches, but it's not just the physical contact. What I want more than anything is to see his face again. I just want to be able to see him around and make small talk. Ask him how he's been and what he plans to do after school. Those simple everyday interactions are some of the most precious memories now. What I wouldn't give to have those days back. <laughs> Funny what runs through your head when you're trying to get of when you're trying to make frostbite finger. Oh wow, frostbite fingers move without crackling. Oh god, he's right. How wait? How do you have frostbitten fingers in the school? Is like what? How? Were you like trapped in a fucking Frieza? Free Frieza? That that was legit. That was actually legit my ghettoness coming out. I couldn't say the word freezer. I said Frieza like it was fucking Dragon Ball. <laughs> that was my ghettoness peeking through. I'm like the fucking Wizard of Oz. Don't look don't look under that curtain. No one's there. I promise you. I sit down and I sip my tea and I talk like this. I'm like that dude from the... I'm like that Asian dude from the video where he's like, Hey! Hey Ricky Rook! I'm American! Uh... <laughs> he's like... <laughs> I forgot what he said in his fucking... <laughs> when he like <laughs> did that American accent. Something about some milk or whatever. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> he's like, uh... Got like 2% milk? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Man, I... <laughs> that's pure embarrassment for me. It's just, yeah, the freezer. <laughs> just came out. Was this? Did I come from this way? Yeah, this wasn't here before. What? The hallway got bigger. It's not the only thing getting bigger. Yowza. My fear. My fear is getting bigger. Get your head out the gutter. Gutter. Gutter? Ugh. It's such a hard word for me to say. Am I being... Am I being chased? It's the body of a female student. Attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID tag. Mishi... Oh, God. Musa Sawag... Chihaya Nana. Please be okay. I'm sorry I'm such a coward. Oh, don't be. I'm a coward, too. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Maybe if you just jostle the doorknob. I don't like this. Oh. No spooky creature to, to attack me. Okay. Oh, there we go. And the music just comes back. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Is this cabinet still here? Yep, cabinet's still there. I hear. It sound like something was moving. It sound like something was moving over here. It went directly into my fucking right ear. Like someone was like moving furniture across the floor. Okay. 
So this is towards the piss bucket. This is where I came from, right? I'm sitting here fucking... I'm lost. Flip turn upside down. Now I like to take a moment just sitting right here. Nothing in here. Nothing at all. Just this. Nothing on the shelves. This is still locked, I assume. Yep. I read this, right? Memoirs. It's cold. Feel the heat oozing out of my butt. Yep. Definitely read that. I love how I went to the bathroom for a bit and then I instantly forgot everything I was. It wasn't this dark in here, was it? It wasn't this dark in here before. Cut the shit, video game. Video game, cut your shit. How dare you. How dare you assume. And now it's brighter! What the f- What is going on? Mm hmm? Okay. What the hell? I'm not the only one hearing that shit, am I? Like, I'm really listening. It sounds like something's moving around. That cabinet's unmovable. What the hell? Maybe I'll just head back to class 1A, right? Can you piss in the bucket? Damn it. <laughs> I need you to do it <laughs> for my sanity. Anything here? Oh, use the nail puller. Okay. Crash. Glass door is now in pieces on the floor. Acquire a tiny key. Well, time to head back to that, uh, that hallway. After I save my damn game. It's up here, right? This room? Yep. I don't like the sound of the fly in my ear. Okay. Watch me get the bad ending anyways. I'm gonna fucking... Because I accepted the jar of caramel. She's like, you want some caramel? I'm like, yeah, sure. I like caramel. It's my favorite song. Caramel Estanza. Remember the Caramel Estanza? Remember how everybody had an animation of that? Yeah, your Pokemon's dancing to it. You had Persona characters dancing to it. Of course, you got Miku and all that shit dancing to it. And it's such a catchy song. I still listen to it sometimes. It's a good song. About caramel. Tiny key seems to fit in the lock perfectly. Use it? Sure, why not? Miku? Miku's cool. I prefer... I prefer... Uh, I actually don't listen to Miku that much. Or any of the other Vocaloids, but... I prefer... Um, I prefer Rin and Luca. Definitely Luca. I like Luca. Luca's cool. I'm outside! The fresh air! Uh. Oh. I don't know why I decided not to read that. I'm beyond. I was reading the chat and <laughs> I don't know why I decided to just skip that. The second wing, huh? Can't believe the school is big. It's almost like they made this after they made the first two chapters and said, maybe we can make it longer. <laughs> Are you alright? I'll be fine. You still gotta piss, don't you? Maybe there'll be a facility room in the second wing. Just use the fucking bucket. <laughs> Seems like we can climb this fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. I don't think that's a good idea. I don't, I don't trust those woods. But looks like, but look at those woods. It's like they go on forever. Forget about going on forever. There's de there's definitely some sort of ghoul hiding out in there. I think he has white hair and a red eye. One red eye though. And he's crying about his friend or something. I don't know. I can hear his screams from here. There's completely surrounding the whole building. 
I guess now it's not the time to be worried about that. Anyways, first things first, let's take care of Yuka's predicament. Come on, let's go. Okay. Just let it, just let it flow. Just let it go. You know? Like Elsa. Let it go. Oh, it's nice and bright in here. Whoa, place doesn't feel right at all. The air, it's really thick. I like some thickness. Big brother, my head hurts. It feels like it's gonna split open. This piss thing is becoming a whole story arc. Yeah. Uh, mine too. And my ears are ringing. I don't think it's safe to be here for very long. Do you want to wait outside, Yuka? I definitely get the feeling you'll be safer there. No, please take- I'll get the feeling you'll be safer outside with the wood staring back at you. In the cold rain. Don't have much of a choice then, alright. No need to worry. I'll stay right by your side. Okay. You know what this you know what the piss thing reminds me of right now? It's uh High School of the Dead. One of the episodes, I think it's episode four, where everyone finds a hotel and they all get drunk off their ass and all the girls and shit are like making out or whatever, and then the main guy, he's all like, Man, there's um what the hell. What? Okay, well there's obvious letters missing here, but um Huh. I don't even know. I don't even know how to decipher that. i am be honest. I tried to fill in the blanks. I couldn't. Yeah, but High School of the Dead, it's like episode four, where they find the little girl, and she's like, and he's like walking on top of a fence, surrounded by zombies. She's like, I gotta take a piss. And he's like, just do it here. Just piss on the zombie. <laughs> and the little girl just pisses all over the zombie. And I'm like, what the fuck is this episode? All the other characters are trying to fuck off of drugs and shit. The little girl pissing on zombies. I gotta say, I do like the way this environment is. It's like trying to be 3D, but it's not. It's like, this is the, this is the toggle button for the fucking, um, italics. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is, this is too much. Cold. Hurts to move fingers. No strength, no strength to write on desk. Cannot talk or see friend. Ten tendon and leg cut. Ooh, bleeding badly. A female student corpse lay sprawled out on the floor. There's a couple of scraps of paper from the letter set gently, resting atop her bony hand. Luck is fickled, but I still have faith in it. That good luck charm. I know it's stupid, but I truly believe it works. So I know I'll see you again now. And if anyone else finds this letter, please wish her good luck for me. Okay. Damn. Sorry, Cory. Or Co Cory. Cory in the house. My, the favorite anime ever. God, I hate that joke. I hate myself for making that joke. Let's just pretend I didn't make that joke. <laughs> what the hell? I don't trust that door. I can't even get to it. What about you? Girls Laboratory. Not nah, all. Oh. Girls Laboratory, huh? Damn. Oh, still gotta hold it in. <laughs> I also shall pretend I didn't hear anything. Man, it's almost like when the dude made chapter when they made chapter three here. He's like, I know how to work RPG Maker now. Time to get all these lighting effects, better environments. What the fuck? What? <laughs> Am I supposed to play fucking a? Uh, word search here? What the hell is this? Or maybe it's just backwards backwards Japanese words that I can't put together in my mind. Oh shit! Hello! Loud ass thunder! Okay. Notice school closure. Due to the reputation earned from repeating tragic incidents and uh, incidents and accidents and and then around the school, plans for its, uh, uh, bl uh, bl uh, I can't say the word. Operation or whatever, obliteration, whatever, fuck, you know what I mean. They're gonna tear the school down. 
There's been a sharp decline in registration and attendance since the initial incidents, indicating to the school board that our time has ended. We sincerely regret to announce that Heavenly Host Elementary School will close its door for the last time on November the 18th, 1975. It is through my own failings that this disdainful, uh, disdainful decision has come to pass, and for that, I must offer my deepest apologies to all who are affected. Filed to all teaching staff, Heavenly Host Elementary School, Principal Takam uh, Takamini. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. You gotta pronounce it like two, two fucking letters at a time. Uh, Yanagi Hori? I believe that's how you pronounce that. Oh look, it's a spooky hallway. Definitely won't get killed here. This is a big ass fucking school. Holy sh- Now, I'm not a rocket scientist, I'm not a scholar, but I'm pretty sure that's not normal and that it's very bad, so I'm gonna go the other way. Uh huh. It isn't creepy at all. Um, I didn't walk all the way over there. He did it by himself. Listen, I watched the Blair Witch Project. I know what's happening here. I see her. I don't recognize the school uniform, but she looks like a living person at least. We should talk to her. I don't think we should. Yeah, we should. We should not. Don't do that, lightning. You're scaring the shit out of me. I should find a fucking save point. That's what I should. Oh, it's, it's dead in here. Damn it. Alright, fuck it. Hey, how's it hanging, chick? Hey there. Your student from the school called Kizaraki Academy, and, uh... We performed this weird ritual with some of my classmates and lost consciousness. And when we woke up, we found ourselves trapped here. Was it the same with you? Did you do some occult shit? Her expression isn't changing at all. Something's wrong. Because she has no face. We should leave? The female student is staring intently at the corner of the room, opening and closing her mouth rapidly as if chanting an incantation. Oh, so she does have a face. Big brother? Yeah. We're getting the fuck out of here. Uh, what if I fuck with your bust? It's a plaster bust, cheap and mass produced for uh for using still life paintings. You stay there. I don't trust you. Hmm. Okay. I love how he's trying to make small talk. He's like, hey man, we uh, performed the ritual. <laughs> you guys do here, you guys did that too? <laughs> oh man. Can I get a fucking save point before I lose my goddamn mind? There's a skeleton in a chair. How's it going, Mr. Bones? There's the cane corpse sitting in a chair. Oh, Le Lexner? What? Lexner Senior High School, class 2 4. Now Takashi. Oh, well, I found her friend. She's dead. Corin, Corin, I miss you. What are you doing? What are you doing, Lonely? What are you doing? You trying to give me? A, you trying to give me a heart attack? What are you doing? I don't read this shit. It's not even binary. <laughs> it's just some numbers. Is it repeating the same sequence? It's repeating the same sequence. I thought it, is this a I think it's just a year. I think it's just a date. Yeah. It's just wait, it's not even a date. Hold on, what the fuck? Okay. Hmm. Did that door just close? I think that door just closed. I'm gonna ignore it. Hmm. Nope, not happening. Unless someone has a save point for me. Oh my god. I don't like the fact that the... Where the fuck is the entrance to this school? Am I back on the... Okay. Hold up. 
<laughs> I gotta get back to that fucking candle. That's what has to happen right now. I definitely came through this hallway. Oh, thank you, my lord and savior. God bless it thee. Oh. Now I feel safe. Now I feel like a million bucks. Okay. I don't like how the music changed and the thunder just went. A suicide site? Hello? Uh, no one's playing that piano. Nobody's playing that piano. And whoever, whatever ghost is playing that piano, you suck. All right, I want to look at the, is this a door? The door's completely fixed in place, it won't buzz at all. Okay, what the hell? Stop it, Thunder. Hmm. Yep, that's just, uh, that's just how the cookie crumbles. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, wow. I just realized when you're next to the door, kind of in the background of the music, you can hear it play a little bit. That's weird. What the fuck? You motherfucker, I said cut that racket out. What the? I didn't even check the damn piano this time. There's not a soul to be seen anywhere near the piano. It just comes to life like it's Mario 64, scares the shit out of you. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're moving on. And it's playing! It's still playing! Door's locked. Seems to fix the wall like a model. And this is locked too, okay. Um, well let me just check it, just in case the game needs to register that I checked it. Because they did that in chapter one, I got stuck for like a good 30 minutes. Because I didn't, I didn't check the door at the specific angle it wanted me to check the fucking door at. I told you to stop playing that goddamn music, motherfucker. How many times I gotta tell you? Was this, was this here before? Seems extraordinarily heavy in the glass. Climb over would probably be a terrible idea. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Donated April 19th. Okay, that's new. Time to All right. Okay, well, I'm just not. All right. And that's just that's just the piano. Okay, it's just there to fuck with me. Scare the shit out of me. Heading back upstairs. Hey, skeleton. The ghost is banging out some tunes. Oh, yeah, maybe it can bang out some of the right notes. Oh, what? Nuh uh. No way. Not happening. Goodbye. You still, you still chilling over here? Okay, she wasn't chanting before, like audibly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck with your bust. Maybe if I. Oh, okay. Can I, can I chant with you? Yet, in the grand scheme of things, there are not but tiny samplings of what? The chicks are who nested within, never to be seen again, washed away by nothing net. Raising the falling in a constant stream, or I do appreciate such a ghost kind gesture. What the fuck? I think I love you. I'm gonna move on now. I'll be back for you later. She's my favorite now. I love her. Um, huh? Nope. Nope. You stay over there. I don't care. I don't care. I don't know you. Me and the other chick, we have we have history. You? I don't know you. 
Hey, bro, there's someone else. There's someone else running from something, so I should go the other fucking way. I guess there are a lot of other people who are brought here, too. Huh. Come on, let's follow her. Let's not. How about that? She's obviously running away from something, so why would you follow her? God damn it. Hello? Are you gonna turn into a mass murderer? I'm gonna read this paper before I talk to you. I don't believe you. I read this already. Okay. I think I read this one too, right? Yeah, this is talking about how they're closing the school down. By the way... Okay, I thought this door disappeared. <laughs> I was like, what happened to the door that was here? Hey, hi! Time to make small talk again. Did you and your friends do a seance too? Sorry to approach you out of nowhere like this. That's your opener? You see another survivor in a fucked up horror school and you go, Man, I'm sorry to talk to you like this. We're students from a school called Kizaragi Academy and uh... Why is he so polite? <laughs> She's gonna pull out a knife and stab me. What's wrong? No one believes you, not a word! Huh? Even even when we finally meet another living being, it's like they've completely lost their minds. I guess it really isn't as, uh, safe to stay in here very long. Guess I'll chase her down. Hey. Where are you? Stop running from me, I'm not a murderer. Yet. Oh! Another earthquake. Damn it. Are you okay? It's okay. It's over. You handled that very well. The only time I ever experienced an earthquake was like, apparently we had an earthquake in my We don't get that much shit besides like storms. Um, but apparently there was an earthquake we had and my experience of it was me reaching for reaching for the handle to the refrigerator and then falling back a little bit going like oh what the hell I lost my footing and then just going like okay whatever <laughs> and then the next day people were like you feel that earthquake that happened yesterday I was like oh you mean when I almost fell opening the fucking fridge door yeah I guess that was an earthquake huh Hmm. is this door available now since the earthquake happened yes it is Use the bathroom, child. Door doesn't seem to be having a lock yet. It's not bunching in the slightest bit. Its entire surface is littered with protective charms and papers. Spiritual confinement, Buddha guardianship, banishment of malice, charm of exorcism, me metaphysical barrier. What the hell? Why all this protective seal? Is there something inside? Besides my salvation? Okay, so upstairs or downstairs? Upstairs is where death is, I assume. Oh, this is locked. Okay, did I check this? Based on the side, it appears to be the remains of a senior high school student. Since, uh, Sci- Sci-Sci? Sci-Sci Sci -Sci Academy for Girls. Why, why are we always finding dead bodies of females? Uh, Kaito, Kaito. Or, not Kaito, my bad. Ko Koito. Okay. <laughs> Fucking Japanese names, god damn it. You of all people. It looks like your friend killed you, I guess? Or ate your flesh? Got hungry? Said I shall consume the meat. Speaking about Shmeet, because we're talking about Shmeet now. Speaking about Shmeet, one of my favorite commercials of all time is, uh,. Oh man, I forgot. I forgot what the fuck the actual product of the sausage was called. Uh, but it's the one where uh, I'm pretty sure you guys might remember it. It's the one where the where all the dads, I assume dads, but the guys are like grilling outside, and he puts the sausage on the grill. And he's all like, "Go me, go me." I said a beef cutlets. I said a beef cutlet. <laughs> I love that commercial so much. 
Uh, it's Hillshire. That's what it's called. It's uh, Hillshire Farms. A fucking commercial for that. <laughs> I love it. Oh man, you gotta look it up. It's great. Let me let me see if I can. Hold up, I'm gonna read this and I'll pull it up. Uh, you really shouldn't keep holding it in. You're gonna hurt your bladder. Just go in the corner or something. There's two urinals right there. Even sinks if you need them. How about outside? It's clear out there. Uh, wait, what? There's that clearing out. Wow, I can't read. That's that clearing around the covered walkway. Should you go there? Okay. Fucking let me let me look up the exact name of that fucking uh what you call it that commercial. It's so great. I love it so much. Yeah, fucking, it's just the Hillshire's Farm commercial, Go Meat. It's like 31 seconds. It's great, I love it. Go Meat! I remember one time, uh, after like gym class or whatever, I ran in the locker room, and I just went, Go Meat! And like, everybody else went, Go Meat! <laughs> it was great. Oh man, I love that commercial so much. Go me! I said a beef! Cutlets! I said a beef! Cutlets! Oh man, I love it so much. That's nostalgia. Why does he keep stop walking? It's, it's a game. Okay, oh, we're going to the clearing. That's what's happening. My bad. I, I forgot where I was going. <laughs> I gotta go to the clear. I was too busy thinking about that commercial. Go me, man. When, whenever I take out my grill and I start cooking on it, I just want to yell it. Go me. Okay, it's all you. I will be waiting right here. Shouldn't have any trouble getting over the fence, right? Oh, don't go over the fence. I think I can do it. If anything happens, yell really loud, and I'll come and get you. Okay. Oh, you shouldn't go over the fence. You should go in the corner. Don't go over the fence. I, I think something's gonna get you. Oh, I'm playing as her. Okay, so do I just... It's taller than I thought. Can I really get over it? Whoopsie. She's gonna get chased by that hammer, dude. Oh! Nope! Get the hell out of here! Brother, where are you? Oh, you lying son of a bitch. I should have kept the caramel. I should have kept the caramel. I'm gonna die now. Big bro? Big brother, where are you? Son of a bitch. No. No. Damn it. What an asshole. I'm pretty sure she probably entered a different space time somehow. But like. But holy shit. Come on, man. You should never split up. I don't care. It, you know what? It's just a, it's a cultural thing. Japan's all like, people need super crazy privacy, so I'll just be in the other room. It's like, no, walk out there with her, turn your back, and be like, listen, I'm right here, use the bathroom. Sucks that I have to listen to you use the bathroom, but, you know. Uh, she's in a new space time. <laughs> yeah, she has to be. But it's like how, I mean, like, the will of the school can fuck it up, but... Maybe, maybe it's when the lightning striked, it acts as like a flash of a camera. Yep, not happening. I almost died. <laughs> okay, why does the game keep freezing like that? That's weird. It wasn't doing that earlier. It only did it in chapter three for some reason. Boys laboratory. Brother, are you taking a piss? You shitting yourself in here? Man, no, I'm not. No, it's not happening. I wonder. 
I want to actually, you know what? Go back in there. Just nothing. I wish I was a boy. I don't care. Just, just squat over it. Damn it. Damn it. Big brother, where the hell did you go? God damn it. I'm a little girl lost in a fucking fuckery school over here. Yeah, that's right. That's a descriptor. Fuckery. Maybe, maybe the chanting woman in the corner will help me. Oh, what? What is with you? No. You stay over there. No, no, not happening. Nope, never. I swear, this place is gonna drive us all batty to think there be a corpse like this. Dude's taking a picture of a friend. She was fine. What happened? You're shaking. What happened to Michi uh, to Michi uh, Mo uh, fuck. To Mochita. Big brother's gone somewhere. You stay over there. You stay over there. I love how he doesn't care. He's like, God damn it. <laughs> you poor thing. Come with me. I'll help you find. No! Absolutely not! I'll be okay. I'll search for him. You go fuck off. You were dying of fucking. No! No! D stop! Stop! No! You no! Get away from me! You stay away! Help me! Oh, he killed you too. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck, man? I'm panicking here. Yo, fuck that guy. Get me the hell out of here, man. I'm losing it. Uh, is he still here? Music changed. What the hell? Man, mm. I'm tempted to go in that piano room. I'm definitely not going in that piano room. I'm taking an inch at a time because I, I don't want to like get trapped in the corner. I don't want to get trapped in the corner somewhere with the guy. I hear... I hear footsteps? If I just walk over there. Will he just be right in front of the door? I feel like I'm gonna burst. Oh, I'm about to bust. Oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna go through there and he's gonna corner me. Oh shit. I'm about to bust. <laughs> I... I'm not I'm not that crazy a fan of uh, King of the Hill, but that's so hilarious. Just fucking, just just the guy being like, "Oh, I'm about to bust." I think I'll use the bathroom. Oh, good lord! Oh no! You stay over there! Oh, get the fuck out of here! No. No, nah, -uh, nah, -uh, no, nope, not happening. <laughs> Com uh, piano man, I trust you more. Please help me. There's no soul to be found anywhere. Dude's just like. Oh, get the fuck out of here, man. Dude, I turned the corner, he was right there. Oh, shit. I gotta get back to the entrance. Ah, oh, damn it. If I had that karma with me, I could throw it at his fucking head. <sighs> it's the only way. It's the only way.
Uh, no, mm -mm. Can he just walk through doors? Because I hear footsteps. I'm going to wait here. I want to see. I heard footsteps. And I want to know if he can just walk through the door. Can't use the doorway. Fuck. You mean like these doors up here? I think they're... Oh no, the doorway up here, it leads to the dead end. It leads to the dead end with the cabinet uh, on the floor. And if... See, I hear, I hear fucking footsteps. I definitely hear footsteps. Yeah, there's no way I can, um... Maybe I can somehow summon him over here and maybe sidestep his ass. I feel like I'm, gonna, I'm about to bust. <laughs> like, I need to... I have to run past him somehow. But he's like, he's way faster than the ghost. What? I saw something. Bullshit. I saw a ghost up here. I don't care. I saw something blue. I'm not crazy. I know I'm not crazy. He's right here. Yeah. And he's like too fast for me to like juke the shit out of him. So I was like, I was hoping that maybe I can like turn, get him stuck in here and like run around. Door's completely fixed. Fuck this fucking piano ghost. You're an asshole. I guess I can just try and run past him. I should have ran the other way. When he started walking to me last time, I should have ran the fucking other way. Alright, well, I'll just try it. Oh, no, he's too fast. Fuck that. Why are you running? What do you mean, why am I running? Get the hell away from me. You fucking freak. Why are you running? Oh, no, I just saw you take pictures of dead bodies like a fucking weirdo. Stay away from me. The chanting girl's dead now. He killed her too. I don't trust that guy. And this way. He totally killed her. She's not breathing. Eyes hollow appearance in them, yet still retain a tiny echo of life and reflect a palatable sense of terror. Someone seems as if she could snap out at any moment, stand up and walk away. The corpse is fresh, simply. Yeah, it's too fucking fresh. Oh! <laughs> you stay over there! Oh, Nichon, I need your fucking help. <laughs> your freaky ass friend's chasing the shit out of me. I have to hide. Where? I can't hide in there. I feel like I'm gonna I'm about to bust. <laughs> Can I not? Did I just go outside? Is the ghost still out here? Yup. <sighs> Guess I'll hide in the bathroom, but there's no way to nowhere to hide. There's no stalls. Oh fuck! God! <laughs> Scared the shit out of me! Terribly sorry, my ass. Big brother, you lied! You're not my brother, who the fuck? Wait, what? You lied to me, you say you would've leave me by my- He's definitely an older dude! Are you injured? Why do I feel like I'm about to be? It's not my brother. My name is Yuka Mochita. Look at this shady ass motherfucker. Look at his eyes. 
motherfucker seen some shit. Mine's Yuya Kazami. I'm an 11th grade a grader at uh whatever the fuck. He's sexy. Eh, he's good looking. I wouldn't go gay for him. Now, fucking, if you play Fire Emblem Three Houses, Claude. Oh my God, I go gay for that boy in a second. But I won't. <laughs> but I would. Yuka, was it? Why are you also spirit away here? Wait, what? Were you also spirit away here? After performing the forbidden Sachiko charm. Uh, I don't know. My friend, uh, my brother was doing some occult shit, so I just did it with him. I see. Given that you called me big brother a moment ago, I assume he's come here with you? Big brother. Big bro. I'm sad now. And his creepy friend is chasing me. You poor girl. I also became separate from my little sister, and I'm presently searching for her. Your little sister? Is he here? I mean, is he here? Isn't here? She is. If you like, you may accompany me. We'll look to get. Uh, we'll look for your big brother along the way. In a place like this, after all, the living should stick together as much as possible. My poor sister is probably off somewhere crying right now, just as you are. Is your sister the one that just got gutted by my brother's friend? I simply must find her. So what do you say? Will you join the hunt? Uh, yes, please. I still have to piss in a bucket, though. Let me find my big brother. I will. Fear not. <clears throat> Fear not. I'm certainly, I'm certain we'll cross his path. Plus Ultra away. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I didn't like... <laughs> Any other time they merge into one being. I guess our I guess our bond isn't strong enough for us to do the fucking the fusion technique. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Look at his icon compared to hers. What the hell? Someone was obviously added in later. Jesus. Okay, can you lift this cabinet? Well, not getting around this. Okay. Oh, he can lift it. Hell yeah. <laughs> She's like, wow. Sigoi, his muscles are so big. You can tell he's cool because he has a jacket, but he's wearing it over his shoulder. It's like they got a whole new artist. Exactly. Kick the door open? Is he muscly enough to just fucking kick a door open? Maybe he can beat the shit out the piano ghost. Be like, shut the fuck up, ghost, and just punch it in its face. He's a cool looking guy. He's a cool looking guy that's shady as fuck. But he's not as shady as the other dude. And don't mind me, just taking pictures of dead bodies. Ooh, isn't that scary? <laughs> These are still locked up here, I assume. Uh huh. Okay. Moving on. Damn. <laughs> so, what about the ghost out here? Is she gone? Oh yeah, I'm so big and strong that I scared the shit out of her. Nice. Alright. One thing I want to do, though, is I want to head back into that room, see if we can find that dead body of the girl. Maybe it is his sister. Or maybe we can run into the other loser and knock his lights out. <laughs> the guy's creepy as fuck. Glasses shining and shit, talking about, Oh, it's just me. Don't be scared. Like, how the fuck? How fucking dare you? So, what's it? A little bit further than this. Is this your sister? She's not breathing. Her eyes, blah, blah, blah. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, she threw up? Are you alright? This is terrible. Yuka, have you seen the ghosts of the children? Yeah, I have. I've been reading the school's flyer and dying messages scattered throughout the school. And it seems the ghost of the man who killed those children is somewhere here. Uh -huh. 
He's apparently quite large and wields a hammer. You best be on your guard. I've had a great many of my friends, many, many, many people killed by that man and those wretched children. My man's... This guy's obviously not right in the head. He just had a whole freak out. At any rate, it seems clear we should stick together, as there's simply no telling what may happen if we part ways. Come on, we must find my sister and your brother before it's too late. Hey, brother. I sure hope you're alright. I'm trying to remember if I've heard his name. Let me see, can we get in here? No, I don't think... Oh, why'd it get lighter? Okay. Um... Did the charms help me out on that door? Keep the spookies away? I don't even want to know what Glasses Dude was planning. Yeah. <laughs> like, maybe, maybe maybe, the joke is that he's just bad with children. But he, I don't know why he had to say it like that. He's like, why are you running away from me? Like, no? <laughs> like, what are you doing? You stay away from me, you son of a bitch. Trust this total stranger over you any day. Yeah, but I'm trying to remember if I've heard this this guy we're playing as right now. I'm trying to remember if I heard his name in any of the messages. Because apparently friends be killing friends out here. But now, with my newfound strength, she'll kick this shit over. Well, not getting around this, this in our way, so get the fuck out of here. Huh. That was unexpected. Oh, now the darkness has returned to get me. This looked like it would go to, like, a doorway or something. Okay, it's dark as fuck. There's a skeleton. There, There's a skeletal corpse with bleach white bones sprawled across the floor, laying on top of remains, clothes, a student ID name tag. Masato Municipal Brothers Senior High School. Okay. Oh no, not Akihiko Kuzuzaruka, uh, whatever the fuck. Not my friend Akihiko. No way. I'm gonna read this one first. Based on the size, it appears to be the corpse of a middle schooler. There's a student ID tag. Haruko, number three. Okay. Uh, there's be remains of a very tall individual laying atop remains, clothes, ID. Okay, another dude. Hato Soda. Oh, Sudo. Sudo? Sudo? Whatever. Sudo Wudo! My favorite Pokemon. That's why it's not my favorite Pokemon. Speaking about Pokemon, you know if. Oh? Uh... Hello? <laughs> there's remains of a female student who clearly suffered a blow to the head. Her skull is cracked open and there's dry blood everywhere. Her broken glasses, as well as a student ID name tag, are resting near. Her mangled corpse. Ah. Uh, Emi. Uh. Emi Urabi? There's a fresh dead body, so only that only means trouble is afoot in this area. Well, look at this blood red door. It's definitely safe. Custodian closet. Door is affixed to the wall like a decoration. It won't open. There's an erratic noise like television static coming from it. How many times have I went to this fucking door. Let me guess, the teacher wasn't the one who actually killed the students, it was the custodian. It was... Isn't that, isn't that the fucking storyline to goddamn Nightmare on Elm Street? Isn't Freddy Krueger fucking custodian? Alright, well that body just looks fucked up. Is that the teacher? No way. No way. There's a picture of four dead children here. Well, damn. Nothing over here, then. Let's see if we can go get you to piss in that bucket. Trust me, it's for, it's for a good cause. I need you to do this so that the timeline shall be corrected. That we can save everybody. You. Bucket time. Damn it! Okay, what about this classroom? We were supposed to rendezvous if we found anybody here. At 1A. But, 
No one's here. I can definitely get him to push this out the way. There's glass all over the floor. Wait, the glass is stopping me from moving it? I'll not rest until someone pisses in that bucket. Exactly. Wait, I'm... There's a glass all over the floor here. Be careful where you step. Okay, what about... Can I just not push this out the way? Alright. Damn. I thought he would be able to do that because we've seen him do it. I don't like the sound of the fly in my fucking ear. It's so weird. Okay. Why did the music stop? This is a dead end. Alright. Wasn't there... Can I just push this over for the fuck of it? Beetle wings? What? I'm sorry, excuse me? She was crammed with very old, awfully yellow books with unusual text. Okay, so... Ballad of the Bad Bunny and all that, but okay. I thought I was looking at beetle wings. Fucking fly, I hate you. Now, was this hole over always here? Wouldn't this lead upstairs to the bathroom? Or is that the other way? You still won't piss in that bucket. You just... You're just being very... Very, very difficult here. We, we did that. This is where we came from? Yeah, this is where we came from. That leads outside. So we didn't go here. There's this. I guess I'll check the door. Yeah, there's nothing. I didn't expect anything either. Huh. Guess I just gotta head back to the other school building then. I thought... Maybe there's like an item I have to pick up or something. The game is definitely like stuttering at certain points because it has to load in a new area or some shit. Okay. Back in here. We had this guy lift this. Go over here. So we can't do anything with the piano ghost and the fucking... Chanting girl is... is dead now. Maybe she was chanting... Maybe she was chanting something to keep the spirits away, and then fucking Glass's dickhead McGee came out and stabbed her. Like a freak. The only way to salvation is through- mm? Hello! You definitely were not here before. Huh? Wasn't this inside the art room before? What's the matter? Nothing. Probably just my imagination. Nope. I noticed it too. What the hell? Okay. I... What? <laughs> I don't... Huh? Chanting girl's dead. What? Ah. Is she still alive? Like, going, uh. Currently slowly dying? Three. Oh, wait, hold up. Wait, no, never mind. That wouldn't make any sense. Forget about it. I was like, maybe I'm supposed to add all those letters up from other notes, but that wouldn't make any sense. I didn't check any of this shit. Does it hurt? Yup, yup, alright, nope, not, not happening. Just gonna keep going? Hey, we're just not gonna... Oh. We checked that out. We went... I don't think we went all the way up with him.
Okay, yeah, principal's office is locked. Maybe I do have to step over the skeletons. I'll go save the game first, and then we'll step over some spooky skeletons. Because, what the hell? There's the bathroom over here. You still don't gotta use the bathroom? <laughs> I wish I was a boy. Nothing. Okay. And we're back here. Okay. So... My guess here is that either I have to walk across the skeletons, or there's something... <laughs> I'm just saying the way skeletons. Um, or there's something that, uh... Actually, let me check all these doors again, because maybe one of them might just randomly unlock since I'm here now. Usually some something like that might happen. Nope. Okay. So it's either the skeletons, or maybe there's something I'm missing with the, uh, the bus. This fucking piano. You stop it. Tired of you. Goddamn piano. Uh, did I? Well, we're not getting through this with... Okay. Whoa. What the hell? What? I just saw it down and I wanted to move it. You're still playing music. What? Huh? I'm confused. Maybe... Huh. Okay, now it's stopped. What the hell? So there's nothing- there's nothing to do with that. Just lift it up. Okay. So, back upstairs. I go. Am I going the right way? I think I am. <laughs> I'm getting flipped upside down. Uh, oh no. Shit. Okay. So, back upstairs. The art room. I'm gonna check that out again, and then... If I can't do anything with that, then... Time to go make some friends with some goddamn green skeletons. Nothing? Okay. Nothing, huh? Just the note. I'm tempted to go and look back for the other notes. Because they might just all add up to say something. Nothing I can do with this. Nope. Alright, I highly doubt that this is gonna work. Because it just looks like a pla plath? It just looks like a path blocker, but uh... Your HP's getting low. Oh yeah. Get me the hell out of here. Yeah, not happening. Okay. Um... Shit. Let's look for the rest of those notes then, I guess. I don't... You're super dead. One. Maybe I'm supposed to read them in order? Maybe if I read them in order, something would happen. Right? So the next one would be, um... Next one would be this one? I don't think so. No. Okay. Is it this one? 
Wait, what? I'm sorry. Search desk and music room right side by the window, second desk from the back. That's new. Okay. That's new. Guess I'm gonna go search some fucking... You said right from the window, second to the back? What? Right side by the windows, second from the back. Okay. Hello, Mr. Music Man. How I love your symphony. It is very beautiful. Okay. By the windows on the I'm on the left side. Oh, that's why I flipped this over. Okay, so what? It would be this one, right? It said second from the back, but I can't. So it's this one. I'm I'm checking it. There are a few sitting scribbles on the surface of the desk. Be very careful around the green skull splatter all over the floor. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for telling me that. I ran into a spiritualist here who left behind a pair of shoes blessed with holy water. If one person wears them, then all in the <clears throat> then all in attendance join hands. Then we uh then only and only then is it safe to traverse the accursed green menace. Whenever I see the sorrowful bodies of those who died here, I feel as if I may go mad with worry. I beg of you, survive these ordeals. Live. A pair of these shoes with a faint, nearly imperceptible uh, blush glow catches your eye from under the desk. Oh. Thank you. Acquire blush shoes. <laughs> uh? No. You. You better. You fucking music ghost. Shut the fuck up, Thunder. How dare you? I thought I saw it appear. Fucking piano playing bitch. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you question me and my ability to wear these shoes? I don't like that the body keeps appearing near me. I really just want this dude to run into fucking glasses, boy, so I can just kick his face and. Like the teacher from, uh. <laughs> like the teacher from, uh, whatchamacallit? High School of the Dead. <laughs> Sensei, help me! Well, it looks like you're dead space now. Huh. There's something sparkling on the ground. Pick it up. Why not? Crystal of Unsealing. Hmm. Supposed to be the problem, Yuka. I really have to go to the bathroom. Yes! Oh, don't tell me. You've been holding in all this time? Uh-huh. My, my. Well, uh-huh. Uh <laughs> you, you freak. Blushing and shit. How dare you. My, my, well. Uh, well, we best find you a place to relieve yourself then. If I seem to call our options, I'll be limited. He's like, oh my god. <laughs> He's blushing about it. You fucking freak. See, I want her to do it because it's the only way for survival. He's on some other shit. He's like, I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Alright. Down here. This is... That's Piano Ghost. I keep forgetting where I'm going. Wait, why am I running all the way over here? This leads back to the... I'm trying to head to the, the sealed door, right? Yeah, I think I should be heading to the sealed door. I'm gonna go this way. It's a orb of unsealing. Makes me feel... Makes me feel good on the inside. I gotta go to the second floor. I'm on the first floor. I don't know why I'm so confused looking around these places. Alright, this should be the room. Open sesame! Up. Oh. The crystal of unsealing shattered! The, protect the protective charms etched in the door have completely vanished. It's now open with no difficulty whatsoever. Seems able to use now. Will you be alright by yourself? 
Uh-huh, I'll be okay. Sure about that, last time you got attacked by a ghost. Go to it then, I'll be waiting for you right here. Just like, just like your brother. Thanks. Excuse me? Why are you breathing so heavily? Who the fuck are you? Izami, is it really you? You too, man. You're safe for sore eyes. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna strangle him. Finally, someone else who isn't dead. Godforsaken, uh, godforsaken place this is. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna push him off the- I'm gonna push him. <laughs> I was at my wit's end just now. Let me tell you, outside of the school, there's nothing but trees as far as the eye can see. I thought about braving the wilderness, but it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in video games. Once you enter, you can never leave. So what the hell is this place anyways? Damn it all. They're actually honest to goodness ghosts in here, you know? I think we may be stuck here for good. There's no way out for any of us. Did you see Mitsuki in the next room? She's dead. Is that my sister? Yeah, I saw. I just don't know how to handle this. I feel like there's a certain number. Certain number of survivors and dead? Certain number of dead bodies a person expected to see within his lifetime. Okay. That's different. And I swear, in the last hour alone, I think I have far surpassed my quota. Just yesterday, Mitsuki dumped her boyfriend after finding out he was cheating on her with these three women. Damn! Okay. She's been really down about it all morning. So I spent her so I sent her a stupid text message during class to cheer her up. She seemed mad about it during study hall, but then she sent me a thank you message that uh, that very next period. I think I was actually being able to lift her spirits a little. Now the now though she's gone, killed by actual spirits. I guess it was these children. Mm. Yep. Yep. Mhm. Mm What are you doing? Mm? Mm hmm. Okay. I knew he was just sharpening a knife behind his back. How does she not hear that in the other room? Yep, saw it coming. Damn, dude. Within these walls, it doesn't matter if you're killed by them or killed by me. Either way, you're dead. Where? What happened to me? What the? Where am I? That was one hell of a night. Was I knocked out? Yuka. Yuka, where Yuka, are you? Are you there? Is this his dead sister? Remains a female student ID tag. Misato. Okay. Oh my god. What the hell? At least he left me in here with a heater. Principal. Okay. Heavenly Host Elementary School. Closure date. 1975-11-18. Oh, shit. I thought there was going to be more after that. Never mind. What the hell is this? Oh, no, never mind. There's a bloodstained cassette on the floor. It seems to be from a digital video camera. Pick it up. Sure. Acquired mini DV, uh, DV tape. The label reads uh, ki uh, Kibaki. 
Wow. Kiwi Kiwi research data one. Okay, hold up. What? Huh? I'm not your sensei. How dare you? An individual unaffiliated with the school broke into the school building last night and killed himself. This is the third student. Is uh, this is the third such incident? The decrease of decrease. The deceased was a 72-year-old single male from a neighboring prefecture. Stories of the occult chasing down the hidden paths of the cursed of the cursed school building really exist. Okay, give it a look. Sure, why not? Just take a look right at this book. Reading Rainbow. Over the course of several days, a series of incidents infinites, a series of incidents occurred within this town in which young children disappear one after another. Their whereabouts were ultimately discovered through uh through and through police invest wait what? Were discovered through and oh. I English language, I hate it. Was discovered through a thorough police investigation, but said findings were very much a worst case scenario. Three of the missing children were found dead in the concealed room beneath Heavenly Host Elementary official unused throughout- wait, what? Official. Officially unused throughout the school's history. The fourth missing child was thankfully still alive, quickening fair on the ground, presumably one moment away from demise, when police arrived. Capping off this nightmare scene was an adult male member of the school teaching- wait, what? Capping off this nightmare scene was an adult male member of the school's teaching staff who seemed to be in a, t in a state of confusion. In his hands were a pair of bloody scissors. The surviving elementary school student, after psych psychiatric counseling, gave official testimony figuring the scissor man as abductor and murderer. The staff member in question was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of minors, as well as uh, uh, decoration of the dead. Fucked up. Some fucked up shit. He was quickly taken to trial, where an insanity plea spared him from prison or death, but resulted in his complice or uh, complice or uh, what the fuck? Whatever. He's in a mental hospital. Put him in a straitjacket. Interestingly, the perpetrator of these crimes was none other than the school's principal's own son, who was wildly renowned for his jovial personality. Jovial. However, due to the mental uh, mental element of unknown region. Of region origin, he began losing his ability to speak little by little during his years teaching at Heavenly Host. Once his speech was all but gone, he began searching for alternative places of employment, which occupied him for several months prior to the crime. The results of these result eh. the result of this endeavor was not favorable, however, and most of the days were spent staggering idly through the streets. His reputation quickly degraded. Several months after his admittance to the mental hospital, he managed to slip past the many nurses on duty and escape the premises. Immediately upon doing so, he made his way into the concealed basement room of Heavenly Host Elementary where he took his own life by hanging. The three children he had killed were all Heavenly Host Elementary students. But the one girl who was rescued from the gapping maw of eternal slumber was not. Following her close call, she and her family moved to another prefecture far from the memories that no doubt would have otherwise haunted them forever. Sadly, this was only the beginning of the misfortune that would adhere, uh, that would hereafter plague the school, which had already earned itself many of unsettling rumors. Over the next few years, Heavenly Host would become a stage for countless in incidents of rape, molestation, and suicide. What the fuck? With students registering and attending dwindling at the alarming rate in response to these crimes, the school was eventually shut down. The 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as the eccentric, as the insection who uh, adored his walls, door, and furniture with incomprehensible scrawls. Even later, forensic analysis of the writings throughout his office could be made little sense of his haphazardly scribbled uh, enumerations. In the day after the school closure date was finalized, the age eccentric threw himself from the roof. Oh God. He broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. As you can clearly discern, the sordid history of this school is indeed awful, but there are maybe but there may be more to this a merely a seri oh wow. Maybe more to it than merely a series of unfortunate incidents. A power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as puppeteer from the shadows, maintaining an actually tangible curse upon this property. 
And the key to it all lies with the sole survivor, the girl who bore witness to the brutal murders and, and mutilations of three children no older than she. The girl in the red dress, the one who got away. My investigations into the supernatural side of this horrific massacre is only just beginning. Rest assured, I intend to make these a regular feature. I began gathering data for a follow-up report, so stay tuned. The next issue promised to uncover more details in this morbidly fascinating story. <laughs> According to this article, one girl survived the murders, but if this photograph is accurate, then it's the same girl in the red dress we saw earlier. Why would someone who was killed here be haunting the school? What the... Man, that was a mouthful. Holy shit. I need a drink of my water. What the fuck? I'm currently dying here. I was struggling. <laughs> okay. Oh, did I not read this? Victims memoirs, five out of five. Sure. Looks like I'll be dying soon, so I'm gonna try and keep my finger steady. It's just this one time. The bleeding never stopped and I'm getting closer, uh, closer. I'm getting colder and colder. I can barely see. In the end, I never did find, uh, we never did find one another, and unless you magically popped out of the shadows real soon, we never will. Okay, I've always idolized you. You constantly surpassed me in every way, always one step ahead, no matter what we were doing. I kept telling myself that at some point I'd turn a corner and you'd be there. But I knew better. My brain knew better. My brain rejected that notion from the beginning. If I should, if I should dream in death, though... That I know I'm going to see you when I turn this next corner, like I've been praying for all this time. We can beat up on each other like we used to. And I'll never have to be alone again. Oh god, my head. A wave of nausea and unbearable despair suddenly washed over Satoshi's entitled body. Entitled? Wow, entire body. Well, I did read all those notes. Probably shouldn't have. I'm dying now. The next thing he knew, he was standing in the corner of an extremely narrow red room. His movements weren't his own. It was as if his mind was dis uh, disconnected from his body with no perception of sur surface or gravity or motion. After a sudden drip jarred his senses, he realized he was moving purely on nerve impulses with no direction or control. Perhaps he'd been taken in by the curse, by the wave of negativity that permeates this space far beyond the spectrum of human understanding. His shell of a body might as well have been a twig, a twig skipping across the ground in, in a windstorm. Without warning, his very sense of self had been completely destroyed, leaving him in a, in a, a virtually lobotomized state. It seems the remnants of this man's torment soul are indeed a thing best left untouched. For this dying message and the curse it carried, he certainly had no trouble at all dismantling the essence of what was once the boy named Satoshi. Game over. Wrong again, 3 out of 4. What the fuck? Oh shit, what did I press? I pressed something. I pressed something I wasn't supposed to press. There we go. <laughs> I knew if I kept reading that shit, something was gonna kill me. Did I save beforehand? There was a... Oh, shit. Was there a candle in that room? Oh, shit. What? No. Uh, what did I just click on? How do I go back? There we go. Chapter 3. Continue. Oh, shit. Damn it. Ah, fuck. <laughs> oh, I died. <laughs> Damn it. This is why we need more fucking more candles around here. More save points. Alright, so I uh was this me heading to the I wish I can like I wish there was a check inventory button or something so I knew what the hell I was doing. Let's see. Okay. So we're not that far behind. Just gotta watch watch him kill his friend again oh i thought the <laughs> i thought i had to watch I thought the cutscene was gonna play all right get in there go use that bathroom 
Watch me kill my friend. I wish there was a skip button, but there's not. Come on, dude. You can do it. Get over here and beg for my help so I can sharpen my knife behind your back. Come on. This is as fast as I can go. Come on, dude. You can do it. There you go. Yahtzee. I love how the reaction is, dude, what are you doing? Like, shouldn't your instant reaction be like, oh, no, nah, fuck this, and, like, start fighting back or run away or something? <laughs> Not just, dude, what's going on? Like, I get he's in, I get he's in pain, but come on, man. Survival's got to kick in. Ah, quit your bitching. How does she not hear all that? My man is screaming bloody murder. It's just one door away. Alright. Now we're back with Satoshi. Don't read any notes. The ghost told me not to read any notes, and I did. You got Dogoda. All right. One thing I definitely want to do, besides like pick up this thing over here, is I want to uh, I want to read that again, the story, because I'm not sure if he will retain said knowledge. Oops, I clicked don't read. I'm not sure if he will retain such knowledge. There you go. Now you're smarter, Satoshi. Aren't you happy you read all that? Alright, what the hell is this? Uh, oh yeah, I read this. Okay. Time to get the fuck out of here. There is, um... Is that dead body? There's a door. Looks like I'm locked in. Oh, no! Listen, you just appear out of nowhere. I don't like it. Tori so much for another well-being at, uh, that is torment. Uh, that torments you to the core. There's an extinguishing stigma that afflicts the living and the dead alike. And you are? Her eyes are so cloudy. She looks like she's a dead fish. Maybe because she is dead. I'm the spirit of the girl who died here. Now I'm going to be the spirit of the Satoshi who died here. Okay. I'm really not sure how to respond to that. <laughs> Happiness and unhappiness are linked. Uh, whenever one attempts to gain good fortune with little effort, there's always a risk. What are you trying to say? You and your friends have become trapped in this school because you performed the Sanchiko uh, Ever After charm and messed it up. Yeah, because one of them lost their fucking... Actually, it wasn't It wasn't until after we got here, but one of them lost their goddamn papers. They're dead now. Sanchiko, you mean the paper doll thing we all did? How did we mess it up? One of you chanted the phrase too many times or too few. The number of participants determines the number of representation that must be spoken. And somebody goofed it. Aw, oh, shit. Was that me? You said exactly nine times, right? Sashko, we beg- Aw, oh, fuck! She repeated herself! Uh, you have to say it one more time for every person present. No more. I'm pretty sure it wasn't me. I remember saying it nine times. So did someone else mess up and that's why we're here? Damn it! No, I'm not gonna start placing, placing blame. This wasn't anyone's fault. May have been a pr may have been on purpose. One of your friends probably thought the whole thing was silly and just didn't even bother to count. Or maybe a misguided member of your group didn't want the fun to end and only flubbed the charm in vain attempt at prompting a do-over. What the fuck? Wait, wait, wait. So the only way for us to get out is to find each other and chant the charm? Even if it wasn't on purpose, some of your friends have a tendency not to take things very seriously now. It's not inconceivable that they messed up. 
and just say, oh well, it's not like I'll ever be found out, without even realizing that their actions would ultimately damn you all. No one owned up to it, right? Not a single one of your friends has, has said to you, I screwed up, so very sorry. Shut the hell up already. My apologies. I, pro I propose far too many likely scenarios, it seems. Perhaps it's the nature of my job. I have long since abandoned my writings, after all. You do still have your scrap of paper doll, no? Be sure you hang on to that and hang on to it tight. Treat it like a memento. Memento of those who are dear to you. And one of our characters lost it already. God damn it. Sorry to cut this short. Well, I'm a bit of I'm a bit of a hurry. Seems to have gotten separated from my little sister. And there's still some other people I need to find too. Such concern for your friends and all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action, is truly a noble sentiment. And that's all charms really are, you know? The representation one regards for other people. They're like micro, uh, microcosms of the soul. Whether it will be love or hate, all you need is a truly strong emotion to set them off. The stronger it is, the more powerful the charm. Splend- what? Splend man's hook. I'm burning up. Wait, no. What are you- Fridge super- what? Feels like my body's on fire. My mitochondria! What, what's happening here? We will not allow anyone to stand in our way. Those who do will surfer with surfer will suffer without mercy. Are you trying to kill me? Now go. Go to the one who occupy, occupies your thoughts. Though you probably won't make it in time. Wait, wait, wait. If I don't make it in time, I'm going to burn in hell? Continue in chapter four. What? <laughs> what just happened? Okay. That's interesting. One of our one of our teammates definitely fucked up the chant. Teammates, it's probably like glasses. Motherfucker wearing glasses and shit. How dare you? Alright, well that's interesting. So I guess in order to get out, we need to we need to find each other or find whoever and chant the chant so we can get the fuck out of here. So we need to find our friends, the ones that are alive. I guess. Damn. Is there no way of skipping the credits? I don't think there's any way for me to skip the credits. Let me see, is it? Maybe it's this button. Nope. Nothing. Team Gris Gris. I feel some Gris Gris right now. How many chapters are in here? Extra Chapter 2, Meeting of the Minds, is now available for play. Okay. Damn. Oh, we got two more chapters. Okay, we got two more chapters. And three more extras. Alright, well. As of right now, we've been going for a bit of a while. And checking the time. Right now is a good stopping point, especially since we just finished the chapter. So, that's going to be it for Corpse Party tonight. I'll definitely come back to this. I want to I wanna play more of this shit. Um, what is, what is today? Okay, so later tonight, I'm definitely going to um, head back to Phoenix Wright. Going to continue doing that. Uh, what chapter are we on in that? We're in chapter 3? Of, uh, of whatchamacallit? Of Justice for All. So, gonna be continuing that. And then, 
yeah, no, that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So there's no other plan than that. I don't know what I'm going to do for, for like, the day after that. So that's up in the air. Maybe we'll come back to Corpse Party because I really do want to keep playing this. But for right now, that's the end of the stream. And I want to say thank you to everyone who came and watched it live on Twitch or watching the VODs. And for those on YouTube, thank you for watching as well. I know it's tucking. It's been a while since we last played Corpse Party, but um, I'm really enjoying it. And I can't wait to I can't wait to beat this and play the other games, honestly. So that's it for now. <laughs> as always, I like to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care.